Hello? <laughs> hello, hello. I am so excited to play this event with you all. Oh my gosh. Um, also, I'm glad. I'm glad that y'all enjoy the thumbnail. <laughs> I had a lot of fun um, putting that together, so. <laughs> Anyway, I hope y'all are doing well. Um, first of all, I wanted to apologize. Um, the last Star Rail stream that I did, um, <laughs> I accidentally streamed um, during the Star Rail, like, official stream. <laughs> so I, I'm very sorry um, for some of you who were trying to catch that live. Um, I'm sorry that I ran over. They had changed the stream time on that, and I guess, I don't know, I hadn't thought that I was going to overlap with that, but... um. <laughs> Oh my word. But yes, no, I've got I've got the very adorable hat and um I've got my Wubba boos because I love them. They're extremely good. <laughs> but yeah, um I've been holding off on playing this event so that we could do it on stream. Um I'm extremely excited to play this with you all. I think it's going to be an absolute blast. So yeah, I am um, Actually, I, I kind of forgot that there was going to be two events available today. Um, the one that I had planned was the Star Rail, um, like the, the Silver Wolf. Uh, <laughs> like her entire event was kind of the thing that I really wanted to prioritize. Um, but we've also got the, the museum event as an option. So I don't know. Hey, uh, we're going to have to see. <laughs> we're going to have to see how that goes. Um, also, yeah, this hat that I got, um, I technically it was available as a free asset, but I always like to pay people for their hard work. So I, I chipped in a couple of bucks. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got all the credits for this in the description because uh, some very talented people put this together very quickly and I snagged it for streaming. So, Ooh, oh my gosh, I'm excited. This is going to be great, y'all. Um, also, some of you might notice I'm um, sitting at Trailblaze level 50. Um, <laughs> technically, I could uh, do the whole equilibrium uh, level 4 thing, um, but I was looking because I wanted to make sure that I could level up some characters really quickly, and it's really expensive to get characters from like the 60 to 70 range. So I've kind of been stockpiling a bunch of resources. Um, so. <laughs> I might be a little like overpowered for some of the the enemies that we're fighting for a little bit, but I figured that was better than being massively underpowered and like jumping straight to equilibrium four. So, <sighs> <laughs> you know, the hat does go crazy. It's kind of funny. I love like I don't know. So it's actually rigged with um, the same software as my model with live two D. So it will actually bounce around as I move, which is extremely adorable, and I love it. Oh, it's great. <laughs> and yes, um, there's an artist who I absolutely love who makes a ton of really adorable charms. And she just made a ton of Blue Archive and Star Rail charms. And I bought them immediately. <laughs> so I'll have to share some pictures with you all at some point when I get that all together. <laughs> yeah, I feel like... Um, I feel like this game kind of like this and Genshin kind of trick you a little bit. They're like, mm, you want to you want to raise that equilibrium level? You want to you want to raise that world level? And you're like, oh, yes, of course. Why would I not want to do that? And then you do it and you're like, oh, God, <laughs> all the enemies hit so hard. This was a mistake and I need to go and level up a bunch of characters and that will take forever. So I don't know. I'm stockpiling. So, um, yeah, I might be a little more powerful than some of the enemies will be fighting. <laughs> But I think that's fine. Um, but yeah. Also, I'm sorry. That that comment about the charms probably came out of nowhere. I saw a comment in the chat from Isaac talking about some... Uh, they're acrylic charms. Um, they're like... Gosh. They're not terribly big. They're like a couple centimeters. Um, but they're very adorable. And I have a whole collection of them. So uh, I got very excited. <laughs> and I was sharing some stuff on Twitter about that with some of the folks who follow me there. So my apologies, that probably did come out of nowhere with me talking about that. So, oh yeah, um, I'm kind of uh, blown away by the fact, uh, I completely agree, Bane, where you can actually, they revealed that you can replay events in Star Rail, which is amazing. That's a feature that they've been asking for in Genshin for a really long time. And uh, they just decided to implement it in Star Rail. <laughs> 
I don't know if they'll ever implement it for um, you poor folks in Genshin, um, but I'm very, very happy to see that there will be event replayability because that's great. Like, what if you don't like join immediately, right? Like that would feel really bad that you're missing out on events. So, oh, but anyway, I've I've been I've been talking about a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'm really excited to hop into this event with you all. Let me uh, let me hop over to the screen. Toggle over. Alrighty, let's do this. Yeah, so um, essentially the way that this quest for the Silver Wolf event has started is that I got a text message. Let me go pull that up for you all. So I got a text message from Arlen. So Arlen is the chief security officer on um, the research facility that's in space. And he reached out <laughs> over text stating, hello, Yumi, do you have some time? I still haven't thanked you for helping me when we first met. You're being too polite, it was nothing. I wouldn't have lasted much longer if you hadn't found me. Thank you for finding me in the monitoring room and taking me somewhere safe. Do you have time to come to the base zone? I have a gift I want to give you, which is pretty exciting. I don't know what gift it is he's going to give us, but I'm I'm excited. <laughs> Umimatsu, who's Arlen? <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> Arlen is this uh, this this lesser known character who you you meet at the very beginning of the game, and um, <laughs> he's this. Uh, a very, very helpful guy who uh, is always um, getting a bunch of stuff dropped on him on the space station, so. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is actually, uh, this tricked me at first because I thought this was a continuation of like an Arlen specific story. And then when I was looking at the description of this quest, I was like, wait, this is, this is the Silver Wolf quest, isn't it? <laughs> And I'm glad that I didn't start playing it off stream because I, I wanted to save it for this. So, Ooh. oh, my word. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. Let's hop into it. OK, so we're going to navigate. Oh, gosh, I'm so excited to play this with you all. <laughs> I'm so excited. I always love new events. <gasps> oh, why are there so many people here? What's going on? Oh, no, I feel like this doesn't bode well. Ah, okay. <laughs> Time to see what's going on. Oh, hi, Arlen. How's it going? Correct. All the cabins they might pass by have been checked. Remember to report to lead researcher Asta. Ooh. Um, hi, Arlen. Uh, I I'm here. We'll Ooh. deal with problems outside the base zone later. Ah, it's you. Oh, this doesn't seem good. I'm guessing that there's something going on. <laughs> he summoned us here to give us a gift, and then um, we, we got some problems immediately going on. You know, Jingyuan is um, very tall. <laughs> it's very funny whenever he runs around, like, compared to everyone else. Actually, I'm, speaking of tall characters, um, I am not sure if all of you have done the... It's a side quest that you can pick up from Ching Chui where she wants you to help her out um, with a little bit of work on the side. And looking at the trailblazer and Xing Choi standing right next to each other, I realized for the first time that the, the trailblazer is really tall. <laughs> like, she's got to be like, I don't know. She's, she's, she's nowhere near like two meters, but like, she's really tall. She's a lot taller than I thought she was. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's there's a bunch of tall characters and then there's some very short characters. Maybe the secret is that Ching Chui is really short. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> anyway, all right. I'm sorry, Arlen. I was getting distracted talking about heights of characters. Uh, yeah, Arlen, um, you look a little busy. Didn't you ask me to come? Sorry, this is embarrassing. We suddenly had some stuff come up. I wanted to take care of it before you arrived, but I can't seem to even get a break around here. Oh gosh, I feel so bad. He's so overworked. <laughs> like half of the people on this space shuttle are like <laughs> in various like cliques and cults of personality. And then um, this poor guy is just trying to keep everyone safe. Never mind about that. Here, this is for you. 
I made it this morning, and I've been keeping it warm. <gasps> did did you bake me something? You made you made me food. Oh my That's god! Right. I hope you don't hate it. No, not at all. That's so nice, Arlen. Oh, he's such a good dude. Good God. <laughs> I spent a long time wondering what to give you. In the end, I realized I should stick to what I'm good at. Miss Asta loves my fried rice, so I hope you like it too. Oh my God, that's adorable. I also can't get over that he always calls Asta Miss Asta. <laughs> that's so cute. He's such a good dude. Oh my God. Sorry it's so noisy here. I wanted to find somewhere quieter where I could get your feedback, but... It's all good, man. I, there, there's a lot of people here, but it, it's okay. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Miss Asta said that gratitude has to be sincere. It's a shame that I had to finish it up so hastily. Oh, it's all good, man. I mean, you gave me apparently your prized fried rice. I, I'm a huge fan of fried rice. <laughs> I'll take it. Some big shot suddenly decided to visit the space station today. Everyone has been in a hurry since the announcement. They're all worried that a bad impression could damage Madame Herta's reputation. Oh, good grief. Here we go. Here we go. Everyone's all worried about... <laughs> uh, we've got the cult of Herta going on here. Oh, boy. Miss Asta said that the guest appears to be Madame Herta's research partner. If he's doing research with her... He must be famous throughout the galaxy. Wait, 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 wait. A guest of, of, of Herta. Is it, is it Skrulum? I think he's been mentioned briefly. And like, I think he showed up in the trailer too. He's one of the, <laughs> so Herta and uh, many of the other researchers that she works with are all rather old. Um, <laughs> like they've been living for a very, very long time um, within this uh, group of geniuses. And Skrulum, I think was one of the people who was there. So I'm, I'm gonna bet that it's him, but uh, I don't know, it could be someone else. Ah, uh, look at the time. The guest is almost here. If you're curious, just follow the crowd. Miss Asta and I will be there soon. Oh, I'm I'm extremely curious. Let's go check this out. <laughs> you know it's true, it is big look alive. The CEO and the president are coming. <laughs> it's true, oh my god. <sighs> The cult of Herta is a cult worth joining. I mean, the fair on one hand, but man, this space shuttle, um, they have entirely too many cults. <laughs> I'm a little uncomfortable with uh, <laughs> how many of these people are researchers and also um, very uh, obsessive with their superiors. Ooh, all right, well, let's go. I, I wanna see who this is. Herta's research partner. I remember she once talked about. My apologies. <laughs> My brain broke at that sentence. I was like, wait, is there a preposition after that? Well, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the elevator. I think that it's gonna be Screwlum, but we'll go see. <laughs> Spaceship stir crazy indeed. <laughs> Oh yeah, so this has been my, um, you know, that's true. Maybe it is a Wubaboo. I am not entirely sure. Let me see. So I'm going to show you all the team that I've been running recently. This has been like my go-to team. I kind of love Sushong. Um, she's extremely adorable. Uh, I also love my my good boy, my, my good lion boy, Jingyuan, and then uh, Gepi and Natasha. But um, I kind of cycle through a bunch of stuff. Um, I, of course, still have all of my Ching Choi teams um, <laughs> because she's wonderful. In fact, I might actually switch over so that I've actually got her pulled up and ready to go. Let's do this team. And then I can have her as our go-to. Oh God, no! See, here's the thing. It is the Cult of Capote. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That's one of the most powerful ones on this entire space shuttle. But then everyone is obsessed with Herta too. I don't know. It's this this spaceship has got some some issues. <laughs> I feel like they all need to get out and um touch some grass, come back to reality, stop spending so much time plugged in online. Um, they all gossip about each other quite a bit, and uh, are very clicky and like push out researchers they don't like. I don't know. I feel like 
I feel like something's got to be done about this uh, spaceship. Wow, it's the first time I've seen such a spectacle. Even the top brass. So this visitor is. <clears throat> Get ready. Hypothesis. Thought always precedes mm. word. Hey, uh? And yet, I can't find the words for this moment. It's good to see you, Asta. Oh, I called it! I apologize. <laughs> I'm four minutes and 13 seconds earlier than the appointed time. I hope it's not a bother. Oh my god. Hey, yo, for real though, I agree. I'd also simp for Screwlum. <laughs> Oh my god, his voice is fantastic. Also, he's got some swag. Oh my god. <laughs> he looks so good. I love his whole outfit. I have so many questions because like we know that Herta, um, we don't know like what she actually looks like. She just puppets a bunch of <laughs> not real bodies all over the spaceship. And looking at him, I'm actually curious if it's a similar thing or if he's just decided to like except that he's uh, not fully human at this point. Ooh, ooh, he looks great. <laughs> yes, please, I want to get to know you. You're pretty cool. Of course not, Mr. Skrullum. Welcome to Herta Space Station. No need for formalities, Asta. Herta Space Station is where knowledge converges. Here we celebrate the equality of thought. Ooh, he's also got a monocle. This dude is just like... <laughs> I just realized though he has a bit of a fedora that's i don't know some some folks can pull it off i think that he's pulling it off pretty okay um the monocle i think is really doing it though <laughs> oh my god this character design is fantastic such collaboration between organic life forms is magnificent and efficient you're rebuilding the space station far quicker than I could have imagined. Yeah, no kidding. Um, the space station kind of took a beating um, because the Stellaron hunters just kind of low-key lured a bunch of um, bunch of folks there. Mm, not super good. <laughs> not a great thing. Some people died. Not a big fan of that. We appreciate your high price, Mr. Skrullum. Would you like me to show you around? Since the last summit, we've launched several new research projects focused on silicone-based matrices. Ooh. See, now that sounds fantastic. Let's talk more about the research projects and um, maybe maybe get your crew focused a little that bit less lovely, on. But I do have a meeting with Herta, so let's put the new surprises on hold for now. I cut myself off there by hitting the, the play button. <laughs> Do do more research and less um, cult following. I think the 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 poor space shuttle would do a little better. <laughs> wait, wait, Sky, is that true? Is is the fedora not a hat? Is it really part of his head? <laughs> because I would believe you. It does. It it looks like very organic as far as his getup. So I would believe it. I'd believe that he just built a head for himself <laughs> that just incorporates a fedora. Madam Herta should be in her office. I'll take you there. Right this way. Sure. And you are? Oh, hi. Uh, I'm Yumi. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Skrulum. Ah, hello, young madam. I've heard so much about you. Herta talks about you often. Oh, that could either be a very good thing or a very bad thing. I feel like um, Herta is one of the few people that um, I'm pretty comfortable just like smack talking all the time. <laughs> like whenever she texts me, I'm always like, mm, can't. <laughs> message not received. Um, better try again. Oh, are you trying to scam me? Is this a new new scam to get my data? I'm a little worried about what she's been telling Screwlum now. She's quite curious about you, as am I. What is it like to live in symbiosis with a Stellaron? I hope we'll have sufficient time in the future to get to know each other and answer this question. Oh, he probably wants to do experiments on us. Oh no. <laughs> I was so excited he had the drip, but, but I think he wants to do the experiments on us. Oh no. <laughs> That's what Herta wants to do too. <sighs> I guess it's to be expected. Him and Herta are good friends. Well, it's a shame. He does still have the drip, though. Sorry, 
I wanted to show you around, but now I don't think I'll be able to get away. Oh, it's all good, Arlen. <laughs> like, seriously. Go ahead, or he won't be able to catch up. It's all good. All right. See you later. See ya. Thank you for the fried rice, by the way. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna cherish that. Oh? Who's this? Standing over by the the Herta uh, holograph over here. Arlen is also busy. <laughs> I'd better leave him alone. That person over there seems to be doing something to Herta's portrait. That's not ominous. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming and stopping by. We're just playing through this newest event here. Um, we're not too far into it if you just pop it in now. So uh, we're talking to this suspicious fellow over here who's kind of standing by a hologram of um, Herta. I'm not sure what's going on here. Hi. Hi, Leonard. Oh, strange. It should be around here somewhere. Uh, maybe it's hidden inside Madame Herta's portrait. Um, what you looking for? Huh? Uh, do you need something? If you're looking for the front desk, just go straight through those doors. Um, what you doing? Are you having trouble with something? <laughs> I just read the third option. <laughs> I have to say that. I'm morally obligated to say. Ah. Herta looks so pretty, doesn't she? Mmm. Standing over here admiring Herta by yourself? I see. <laughs> now it all makes sense. Pretending like you're looking for something, but uh, just taking the time to admire her, huh? <laughs> yes, no, we're gonna pick that one. <laughs> oh, another fan of Madame Herta's? Well... I'm afraid this portrait's being taken down soon. Oh no, he's one of the cultists. Oh no. <laughs> Here's the thing, I can't I can't say I don't disagree. <laughs> she is very pretty, but also <laughs> I found common ground in a way I did not expect. Wait a second. I know you. I saw you chatting with Captain Arlen just now. You must be the rising star who caught Madame Herta's attention. Oh no, don't get jealous of me, please. I promise, she just wants to do experiments on me. It's not like that. <laughs> That's it, okay? Don't, don't, don't call the other cultists on me. She just, she's very interested in the Stellaron that's in me, all right? Nothing else. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Leonard, a cybersecurity engineer here at the space station. Okay, okay, it looks like the cultists won't be coming for me. <laughs> He's just ingratiating himself with me. He wants to be friends, I see. Maybe, maybe getting in to get to know Herta more. Hmm, I see. I see what you're all about, Leonard. You probably know that this place was recently attacked by the Antimatter Legion. In the chaos, the master control system for each zone was paralyzed. Now that the station is being rebuilt, my job is to repair equipment and restore the space station's cybersecurity. Oh, dang. That's kind of a big role. Um, well, thank you for doing that, Leonard. Um, <laughs> restoring the cybersecurity um, after the attack from the Antimatter Legion seems like a good idea. Uh, I hope that's going okay for you so far. But during the repair process, I discovered some anomalies. The access records show that a third party other than the Legion invaded while the master control system was paralyzed. Oh, he's talking about Silver Wolf. <laughs> uh, the Stellaron Hunters? <laughs> was it a lady in sunglasses? <laughs> I don't mean to troll this poor man, but that's exactly what we're asking. Was it, was it a lady in sunglasses? <laughs> I don't know who or what it was. Actually, I'm investigating that right now. We suspect that it may have been the Stellaron Hunters. It's an elusive group and very dangerous. Every member is on the IPC's wanted list. I mean, no kidding. Everywhere they go, like, bad things happen. <laughs> also, they low-key, like, 100% drew the Antimatter Legion here. So, like, you know... 
They're a little complicit in the the, the excuse me. <laughs> They're a little complicit in the destruction of the space station, but you know, hmm, hmm. They might be them. <laughs> I agree. Good theory. They include a super hacker from Punk Lord. I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost to her once before. Excuse me? The name? <laughs> is it an organization? Is that is that it? an organization that Silverwolf is from? They're called Punk Lord? <laughs> that might be um, one of the best names. <laughs> I kind of love that. <laughs> you know, Ale Alejandro, you, you, I, I commend all of you who want to go and, and <laughs> try and fix Kafka and Silverwolf and Blade and the rest of them. I, I, I will leave them in your capable hands. <laughs> Oh my word. A while ago, I discovered her whereabouts during a screening process. I was planning to follow the clues to find more details about her, but I fell into her trap. Can you guess what happens next? She reverse hacked my device, sent out a bunch of spam, made a video game open to the space station, and told everyone that an idiot named Leonard made a big silly mistake. <laughs> oh no, this poor dude. He's he's just the IT support. This poor dude, he's the IT support on the space station of cultists and crazy space researchers. And he's just trying to do his job and this mega hacker comes in and just absolutely trounces him. <laughs> oh, Leonard, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sad. Oh my word. Ugh, I don't want to think about it. Now that everything is calmed down, I thought they'd be on my case already. The silver lining? Madame Herta was generous enough to allow me to continue investigating this matter. Yeah, here's the thing. I bet Herta didn't really read the report. <laughs> I think you're fine. She's a bit of an absentee boss, so... <laughs> the middle option! Yeah, normally she doesn't want to deal with it, so you're fine. <laughs> Hence, my silver lining. You know Madame Herta. If she's really interested in something, it doesn't matter what anyone else says. It's true, which is why you're lucky that um, she's not particularly interested in cybersecurity, I guess. <laughs> she's kind of just put that on your shoulders. To put it simply, the leaders have given me an opportunity. How could I not cherish it? If I can make up for my mistakes and do a good job, I may have a chance to prove myself. Oh, Leonard. Leonard, Leonard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, my word. I feel like he is barking up the wrong tree. I could maybe help you, Leonard. Um, I don't know much about cybersecurity, but I know a lot about, like, punch <laughs> and swinging swords. I could probably help you with Silver Wolf in a different way if you want. <laughs> this time, I plan to start from inside the space station and see if I can find some clues to trace the intruder's steps. Maybe I can find the blind spot I missed before. I designed a decoding program. Look, it looks like a camera, but it's actually a detector. We should be able to find hidden clues with it. All right. That works. That works for me. That sounds good. Just like this. Leonard aims the detector at a wall. Something seems to appear on the wall. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. uh that's uh. <laughs> um. It looks like a drop of water. A blue teardrop-shaped object. What are you talking about? This looks like oh, a drop of sweat. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why would something like this be in the space station? The staff wouldn't even dare scribble on the wall, let alone leave a drop of sweat. You know, in hindsight, I should have picked the she's so pretty option again. <laughs> I think that would have been perfect. Oh, I feel like Silver Wolf is just screwing with this poor man. <laughs> So this is what we're looking for? This suspicious evidence? <sighs> it wasn't what I was expecting, but... Um, 
It is pretty suspicious um, and a little unexpected, but at least it's a clue. Wait a second. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, oh, I see. This is electronic graffiti that appears to represent punk Lordian symbols. Ooh. If I'm not mistaken, this should be some kind of automatic encryption. Well, snap, that's pretty cool. The, do, do the encrypting thing, cybersecurity man. Let's do it. I guess not encrypting the... <laughs> decrypting. <laughs> this thing is encrypted. We want to decrypt it. We need to decipher it if we want to find any culpatory evidence. Yeah, no, it does. Uh, at this point, I am I am starting to think that Leonard is losing it a little bit. But here's the thing. Th there is technically a thing that looks like a sweat droplet, and that is concerning. We should probably figure out why that's happening. Um, that being said, Leonard, what exactly does this have to do with me? You got me there. I got caught up in our conversation. I wasn't paying attention. It's all good, man. I just want to know how I can help you. Uh, let me think. Uh, maybe I've been under too much stress recently and I subconsciously want a friend. Anyway, if I were to find clues related to the Stellaron Hunters, wouldn't that be helpful to you too? Oh my God, that's so sad. <laughs> this poor dude. This poor dude just wants a friend. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You must be lonely up in this space station. I get it. <laughs> ah, just do me a favor. It won't take up too much of your time. Here, just point it at the graffiti on the wall. Okay. Oh, you're right there. It sounded like you got choked up in the last little bit. All right, let's do it. Graffiti on the wall. You know, it's funny. From the angle, I thought that it was actually on... I don't know, the way that they were showing it in the cutscene, I thought it was actually on Herta's portrait. So seeing it on the wall over here is kind of surprising. All right, well, let's do it. Let's let's go up to this. Scan the graffiti. Ooh, okay. Um, target has been found. You pointed it at the graffiti on the wall and then some blinking blue patterns started to appear. Suddenly, the pattern imploded and engulfed its surrounding sounds and colors. Something inside seems to be breaking out from it. What? <laughs> Why are there Void Rangers here? You know, that's a great question, Leonard. Um, I didn't actually expect them to pop out after doing that scan. That's kind of surprising. <laughs> that is uh, very surprising. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually using time, but don't waste it. Shh, 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 shh. It's, it's 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 okay, General. Just give me a minute. <laughs> I'm explaining. I'm explaining that I'm using controller as opposed to a keyboard and mouse. That's why it's weird. Okay, let's go. Let's use this ult. Time for the master stroke. Let's go. Do it. Show no mercy. There's something comedic about how absurdly powerful that move is. Then you've just got the ominous drums, da dum da dum. Like, <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's get him. Here, this thunder. Oh, I feel like I feel like they're gonna go down before um <laughs> before the thunder lord even hits them. Naughty child. Nap time. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna intentionally not um <laughs> knock this guy out because I do want the the lightning lord to actually strike this guy. Dear God, it just does so much damage. <laughs> it's just absurd. That scared me to death. Did you see that? It seemed like something popped up here. Then Void Rangers jumped out. Yeah, no kidding. Also, um, there's a there's a projection of Silver Wolf. I'm a little concerned about that. That being said, don't worry, it's taken care of. Um, there does seem to be an extra person here now, though. But look, just like I guessed, this graffiti is encrypted. If we decipher it, we can see some hidden information. I don't know, man. That looks like a projection. I feel like she's going to turn around and start talking to us. I don't trust this decryption process anymore. Also, welcome to those of you joining the stream. Please don't worry at all. Like, 
<laughs> if you're showing up late, if you have to leave, I know it's really late for those of you who are in the EU and in Africa, so please do not feel like you have to stay up late. Um, I just appreciate y'all stopping by, so no worries. The surveillance camera captured her face. Silver Wolf. It's exactly the same as the photo on the IPC's wanted list. Let me see what she was up to. Oh, interesting. Is he saying this is a memory of her? This is like an old scan of when she was here? Interesting. Is this a transmitter beacon? Oh, I see. She probably ran into the Antimatter Legion during the invasion, then used this beacon to teleport the enemies somewhere else. Interesting. But then we reactivated it accidentally? <laughs> I guess is the deal. We accidentally activated the beacon again just now, and they were brought back. Jeez, Stellaron hunters have the ability to stow enemies away like that? Yeah, that's a little intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was not expecting them to jump out at us just by scanning things. Beacon transmission that doesn't require a power source and can be implemented solely through computation? No wonder they were able to break into the space station. With this... I'm afraid not even Madam Herta's office is safe. I mean, yeah, no kidding. This is kind of, um, uh, uh, bad news. <laughs> bad news. Uh, rough technology. <laughs> um, yeah, that being said, have some faith. We'll figure this out, probably, I'm sure. <laughs> we can probably figure out what's going on here. Well, I don't share your optimism. If it wasn't for you, I'd probably be lying on the ground right now. You know, that is fair. I'm really happy I'm here. I think that would have been really bad if uh, the Antimatter Legion came out while you were checking this out by yourself. Anyway, let's work together. There's a strange signal nearby. Maybe it's another piece of graffiti. I'm not sure if that picked up, but a loud motorcycle just zoomed on by. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Look! Up there! They even put down a question mark! They must be making fun of us. Oh, jeez. Well... <laughs> also, I, I've been reading chat. I'm sorry to hear that you ended up uh, burning your breakfast. I hope... <laughs> I hope you're able to make some new breakfast. That's extremely rough. Oh, some transmitter bacon He's does sound pretty good, though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'd be interested to try transmitter bacon. All right, uh, I feel like we're about to get launched into another battle, but let's do it. Oh, 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 she's running. She's running. She went towards the base zone. <sighs> yep. Ah, disappeared again? This thing keeps cutting out when I'm deciphering it. It's all good, man. She's kind of... She must have stopped here for a bit. Let's look around. I don't know. Silver Wolf seems to enjoy screwing with people, so... <laughs> I would not be surprised. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's look around for some stuff. We got some things going on here. We got some, some graffiti over here. Scan that. Ready. I'm glad you were able to order some food after burning your breakfast. That's good. Also, um, I saw Isaac in the chat. You compare this uh, teleporting thing to Trazen, um, sticking stuff in pocket dimensions, and yes, 10 out of 10. Um, <laughs> absolutely a thing that Trazen the Infinite would do. Uh, for those of you who are fans of 40k, um, Trazen the Infinite is one of my favorite characters in um, <laughs> the entire franchise. There's a whole, uh, there's a very good um, book called uh, The Infinite and the Divine. Um, which you need a little bit of Warhammer 40k knowledge for, um, I think to fully appreciate, but if you do have a tiny bit of 40k knowledge, it is one of the funniest things that I have ever read, so, um, yes. <laughs> this pocket dimension business is, uh, it would be very much up his alley. But ooh, we're here! Uh, I'm gonna stop talking about 40k now. <laughs> back to, back to Star Rail now. Oh, Silver Wolf preparing fake IDs. Uh, well. Ah, so that's what happened. She sneaked in first, 
then helped her partner in through the main door. It's a classic hacking operation. Let's see. The registered name is... Leonard Colliwell. <laughs> oh my god, from the very beginning she's been screwing with him. Oh. Oh, Leonard, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um... <laughs> Among Us has infected everything, dear God. <laughs> oh, I knew you were sus from the beginning. <laughs> she, she used my identity. <laughs> this poor man. I, I never noticed that there was an issue with this record. I subconsciously glanced right past it when I saw my own name. She's so cunning. Yeah, no, she is a sneaky one. <laughs> oh my god, the trailblazer. Maybe you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Good god. Don't kick the man while he's down. <laughs> Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. <laughs> oh god, this is already killing me. <laughs> She is a sneaky one. <laughs> right? I just got an achievement for echoing what he said. <gasps> this poor man. All right, all right, all right. Let's go over here. <laughs> Scan that graffiti. The graffiti's location is quite interesting. It feels like she's playing a game with us. One dot leads to another. Oh, she's definitely playing a game with us, man. <laughs> it is fun. So long as we don't have to have too many fights, you know, I don't exactly want you dropping on my watch, but... I heard from a friend that the hackers on Punk Lord have a tradition. When they hack, they purposely leave something behind for people to discover. Kind of like throwing down the gauntlet. Oh. Um, that can't be good. If she's challenging you to a duel, I think she's gonna win. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sure that you're a, a, a totally fine IT person, but, um, she's a very good hacker. They call this the punk lord mentality. There can only be competition when there is rivalry. And there can only be excitement when there is competition. Life's a game, and having fun is what's most important. Um, that is true. <laughs> I agree. I don't understand that way of thinking, but it seems like this graffiti might have been left behind for us on purpose as a clue. Yeah, no, it does seem like she's um, she's messing with with us a little bit. <laughs> the same thing happened last time as well. I was so close to the target, but got obliterated in the final battle of information. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I do not think that he is in the same league as her, unfortunately. It's not your fault. Ugh, she's just a very good hacker. Thank you. All right. We got this. Gotta do our best with the things in front of us. Yep, yeah, no, that's good. Good positive thinking. Ah, she seems to be leaving. Let's keep up. All right, sounds good. Works for me. Oh, she's running. We're gonna they run after her. To be heading toward the monitoring room. <sighs> running around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Don't want to get a <laughs> copyright claim. Do 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 do. Ah, another graffiti. They're all different, too. She really put some thought into this. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> I actually really like the look of this one. It's got a nice little explosion with a little uh, <laughs> startled exclamation points. That's good. <laughs> Sonic karaoke one. <laughs> huh? Is this section of the record damaged? She went through the wall and disappeared. Oh, this was when they ended up finding a secret passage. 
she teleported herself, maybe? I don't think so. That's not the same as passing straight through a wall. Look. I don't know, man. Hold on. I got it. It might be an effect from Mercurio. There was a pre-established folded space here, and the intruders found it and took advantage of it. Uh, that seems fairly um, convincing. We can look around to see if we can find anything like that. No wonder she kept going through the Curio Collection Index. This space is connected to the Stellaron room. Do you still remember it? That's where they put the Stellaron inside you. Oh, that is true. I think I remember this. <laughs> Kafka. <laughs> hmm. Why would they leave you here if their objective was the Stellaron? With her capabilities, all she would have needed to do was make another beacon. She would have been able to escape with the Stellaron, no problem. I don't know, man. They seem pretty invested in creating us. So, something going on. Something going on there. Huh? There's no graffiti here. Oh, we're doomed. The trail has gone cold. Oh, it's okay, Leonard. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find something. There's got to be something around here. Ugh, so strange. Did she really leave just like that? She came all this way and didn't take anything with her, nor leave anything behind. Hey, she she left me behind? Eh? Eh? I don't know how useful that information is, but I don't know, maybe uh, uh, me being around here abstractly will help. I don't know, Leonard, I'm sorry. I don't have a lot of ideas for you. Oh, um, they did leave you behind. <clears throat> sorry, that sounded better in my head. It must have been a terrible feeling waking up in a place that was completely unfamiliar to you. I didn't expect him to actually call out that I was left behind. <laughs> That was genuinely surprising. <laughs> no, it's it's all good, man. <laughs> I was the one talking about it. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> uh, sounds like you've experienced um quite a lot yourself. Oh me? That's how I feel when I wake up every day. Oh Leonard, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this poor man. This poor man on this space station, just trying to do the IT stuff, getting schooled by a super hacker <laughs> from a uh, very um, highly wanted organization. <laughs> God, Leonard, I'm so sorry. Leonard, can I like buy you a drink after this? God. I can't help but feel there's more that they're after. <sighs> I really hope I can find something that's useful to you. Otherwise, I'll feel bad for having you do so much work for nothing. It's all good, man. I, at this point, I'm I'm just serving as your bodyguard. I feel like if you ran around, uh, you would um, be toast after a certain amount of time. <sighs> the more I talk about it, the worse I feel. I should probably find something that I can do. Hmm. There's a rating pistol here. I wonder what my rating would be. Oh, don't do it. The rating pistol is treacherous. <laughs> no one knows how it works. It, it, it gives peculiar scores. Um, Pom Pom only got a one on it, and I don't know what that means. I'm sort of, at this point, unsure if Pom Pom is like a fragment of Akivili or what all is going on there, but if Pom Pom got a one, I don't, I don't think you want to know what your score is. <laughs> I'm a little curious, but... I don't want you to feel bad. Whoa, look here. There's a strange access log in the rating pistol's compartment. Oh? It looks like the log time occurred during the Legion's invasion. The researchers would have already been evacuated by then. Could it have been her? In which case, she didn't leave immediately. She implanted the Stellaron inside you and then fiddled around with the rating pistol for a while. Could it be that... I just realized something. We need to go to the curio collection room on the other side. Wait. Now I'm wondering... <laughs> Did she mess with the rating pistol and make it give weird numbers? Or did she want to know what her number was? 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I feel like there's something suspicious going on here. Also, give me one second, y'all. Um, I heard a big thud. I think that Bear was just moving some stuff into our, like, big chest freezer. <laughs> but I want to make sure he didn't, like, I don't know. I, I, he's he's a lot more coordinated than I am, so I can't imagine him falling down. But I'm, I'm worried now, so give me a minute. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to go make sure he's okay. And then uh, we're going to go and see what's going on here. Give me one second. <sighs> I will be right back. Alrighty. <laughs> I have returned. I also see, mm, I see some of you all uh, plotting some bounty hunting over here. No need, no need to do that. No need to look into snake bounties. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. Only bounty that we care about around here is for Silver Wolf. <laughs> We're doing good. Doing all good over here. <laughs> Yeah, as I suspected, Bear was fine. He had, um, the, we have a storage room that's right underneath my office. And, um, <laughs> if you're not careful when you close the chest freezer that's in there, it makes this gigantic thudding noise. Um, and I, I just wanted to make sure he was okay. And he was. Um, he also gave me some, uh, dates and they're covered in coconut. And I'm very excited to eat them. <laughs> they're sitting on my desk now, so. Oh, yes. Oh, mm, I see. Mm, caught, caught, caught red handed. I see. Mm, trying to trying to cash in a bounty on a certain snake lady. Well, you won't be victorious today. I'm going to have to um, watch my back, though, apparently. <laughs> I thought I thought Silver Wolf would uh, have an attractive enough bounty to get you off my case. But, you know, anyway, 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 moving on, moving on. Just going to casually run over here. <laughs> you know, that's a funny point, Isaac. Does Bear hang out in the freezer when it gets too hot? <laughs> you know, thankfully in the place that we're currently at, um, we actually have decent air conditioning. Um, that was not the case in like all of the places that we have lived. Um, <sighs> so, so many years. <laughs> We lived in a place that had very bad air conditioning and uh, we got very used to like, you would take like um, like a, a towel and get it wet and then just like put that on the back of your neck. Um, taking cold showers would be great. Um, doing the whole like rotating fans thing where like you keep the windows open at night with fans and then during the day, like you have the fans trying to move air around, but no, we actually have real air conditioning now, <laughs> which is fantastic. So. Um, even if it's horrible and like really humid outside, it's much, much better inside, which is great. Very good. <laughs> like I, I tolerate heat pretty well. Um, it takes a lot for me to get really, really hot. Um, but poor bear just like starts suffering at a certain point. So uh, I'm glad we finally have good air conditioning. Um, oh gosh. Yeah. I, 
it's one of those things where like a lot of parts of the world um i don't know even a lot of parts of like the country that i live in like air conditioning just isn't uh a very common thing or like very feasible like when i lived in germany actually um there was no air conditioning at all in like most of the places i was in which was fine most of the time but like during like the dead of summer it was miserable so my condolences to those of you folks who are uh dealing with that um it's unfortunate because air conditioning is like one of those things that uh just monches through electricity and can be really expensive to maintain um but yeah no it can be <laughs> Ugh, i'm happy at least that we have that so beer doesn't have to hang out in a freezer <laughs> We did used to go, there was like an area where we could go and um, do laundry at this place we used to live. And it was really like nice and cool down there, but there were these monster spiders that were down there. So <laughs> it was a bad trade-off. It was like, do you want to be cool or uh, and, and have to deal with these horrible spiders down there? Or um, do you want to be sweltering and hot, but not have the spiders? Oh, but yeah. <laughs> and no worries about puns. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a big fan of puns. <laughs> Just as I thought, she was here. Well, 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 well. It looks like the trail did not go dead after all. Let's see, we're looking for some stickers. <laughs> not these kinds of stickers though. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, this is adorable. God, I wanna be able to do stickers like this. <laughs> I hope they make it so that I can put stickers on stuff. This is great. I want to steal. I want to steal Silver Wolf's technology. I just remembered that Madame Herta has a game cartridge named Punk Lord Mentality in her collection. A game cartridge? Wait. Are you saying that Punk Lord Mentality isn't like a? It's not like an organization, it's a, a video game? That like she was working on a video game? Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's a fair point. There's a lot of things that get referenced in the simulated universe. I hadn't thought about the fact that it would have been referenced there. I think I've seen it referenced in the simulated universe. You remember it, right? It's actually on the list of missing curios. Oh. I wasn't able to put the two together before. If the hacker has a personal objective other than the Stellaron Hunter's mission... <gasps> Wait, was she trying to get her old video game back? <laughs> the plot thickens. I see. I see. <laughs> I understand. I, I got it. I got it now. The Stellaron Hunter's operation was just a cover for her. <laughs> I feel like that's classic. Like, <laughs> like she's here technically helping out Kafka because Kafka's really big on the whole, like, yes, we we have a greater purpose. Everything that we do is for this this grand plan. And Silver Wolf is like, yeah, 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 I'll help you hack um, <laughs> into the server. And uh, I'm, I'm going to peace out for a little bit. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> I'll only be gone for a little bit. <laughs> It's true. She it, that might not be the case. She might have actually been here um, for the higher purpose. But it's kind of funny to think about her like <laughs> only being here tangentially to help out. Look, in the end, they didn't take the Stellaron with them. Yeah, to be fair, there was some weirdness with that. I don't know. They implanted that into me, I guess. I don't know. Some issues. <laughs> She was so interested in the Curio Collection Index that she stayed in the space station even after her mission was complete. This was what she was truly after. Yeah, I'd, I'd buy it. She does seem pretty invested in pursuing this video game. <laughs> she knew we would be looking for the Stellaron Hunters and used it as her cover. Very smart. To be expected of someone from Punk Lord. I don't know, man. The more you talk about Punk Lord, the more I think it's like a group of video game developers who just also like hacking things. Hold on, though. Something doesn't add up. The curios are Madame Herta's most prized possessions. All the visit requests are sent to her office from the computer in the main control room. That is true. Also, yeah, I am also very distracted by how. <laughs> Look how 
tall the trailblazer is. Good God, she's so tall. I'm very jealous of that. I want to be tall like that. <laughs> I feel like I'm more silver wolf height. <laughs> Some researchers tried to gain access to the Curios for research purposes once, but they didn't get proper authorization. She caught them all red-handed. Wait, am I behind on my Star Rail lore? Is Punk Lord a planet? Oh god, I still need to read more. I, I've collected a whole bunch of the lore to read, but I haven't had a chance to go through it all yet, so... Oh, is Punk Lord a, one of the planets? Okay, okay. That would actually make sense if it's... So she's from a planet that I guess is renowned for having a bunch of hackers? I'd buy that. I'd buy that. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, I do have a bad feeling about this. Oh, it's talked about later. Okay, good. I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> I'm not on top of this stuff. Here's the thing, though. I appreciate you clarifying that because I'm over here being like, it's a group of video game people. And it's like, oh, it's a whole planet. It's a whole planet of people. <laughs> I see. I see. It's a group. It's a it's a community of folks. All right. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that she might have hacked the main control room as well. You got me there. But with the skills of this hacker, I do think it's possible. We should go and check the main control room. Yeah, seems good. Uh, if she hacked the main control room, that's bad. <laughs> we should uh, resolve that. Alrighty, let's let's go. I wonder if I can teleport there, actually. We're kind of a distance from there right now. Let's go right here. That seems fine. Whew. Alrighty. Hello, Leonard. We meet Wait, again. Don't move. I get chills just looking at the space station monitors now. Let me investigate first. <laughs> This poor man has gone through so much. <laughs> Silver Wolf has been screwing with him for so long. Oh, he's just over here like, oh God, I'm, <laughs> I'm nervous just looking at this computer. Just perfect. Not only did she shut off all the access logs, she shut off all the terminal transmissions too. I thought it was the Legion that did this. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> um, yeah, that being said, no one noticed it was like this the whole time? This wouldn't have been a high priority issue. The space station's to-do list is ridiculously long at this point. You know, that's fair. You were attacked and a lot of the space station needed to be repaired. Fair enough, fair enough. I am curious though. She paused the terminal transmissions but didn't touch the local data at all. I really don't get her. As a Stellaron hunter, she leaves the Stellaron behind. As a hacker, she doesn't delete the local log. Hmm. There's an external port here. I'm gonna plug in and take a look. Yeah, this seems like a good idea. Um... That being said... <laughs> why don't you let me do it? It might be a trap. Um, I feel like everything we've tried up to this point has been a bit of a trap. So let me, let me try it. Let me do it. Relax, friend. I've done this a million times. Look at this agreement. That That is just, you're just laying flags, man. Like, <laughs> you can't say stuff like that. Like, things are going to go horribly wrong. As you feared, a burst of light shines and the enemy appears. Oh, this is supposed to be a safe zone, There's too. No time to lose. Yeah, no, there is no time to lose. That is fair. Ooh, I'm going to use Jing Chui. Luck of the draw. Let's go get him. Please and victory! Follow my charge. God, she's so cute. <laughs> I love her so much. Here, this thunder. My turn. Wait for Aww, the Oh yeah, gotcha time. Let's go. Get him. <laughs> Woo! So much damage. <laughs> All of my investment in her is paying off. I see. <laughs> Beautiful. See? I was right. There was something fishy about the local data she left behind. <sighs> to be fair, Leonard, I... <sighs> You're right, yes. No, there was definitely something wrong with it after all. Who could have warned us about something about this? Uh... Now we can browse through the curio access logs. Huh? 
That can't be right. This curio doesn't seem to have ever left the space station. Oh? She didn't take the curio either. Or did it disappear into thin air? Hmm. From the way things look, yes. The records show that this curio was last sent to Madame Herta's office. And then it disappeared? Well, that can't be good. I'm seriously confused. What did she come here for? She wouldn't have put the graffiti up just to mess with us, would she? <laughs> what do you think, Leonard? What about this, um, what about this lady have you learned up to this point? It seems like she massively enjoys screwing with people. <laughs> no, if I start thinking like that, I may as well give up now. I have to fully investigate every lead or I'll really be out of a job. F fair enough, but at the same time, I have a suspicion she might just be screwing with us. <laughs> it's the punk lord mentality. It's true. <laughs> Graf <gasps> Graffiti unlocked. Vector Raindew. In Raindew City, Raindews are a decor without any tactility. They scatter and scatter as they hit the ground. Just like those legendary stories that are out of reach and will eventually fall. Yes, that was the original meaning of this graffiti. Perhaps there have been since some subtle derivations now, but that's not important. We also unlocked the question mark. Erotime? Oh geez, I am not pronouncing that right, I think. Erotime. A question mark, it could come from a puzzle, an inexplicable emotion, an interactive object, or a quest that can be completed. See, that's how charming the question mark is. Silent words. The mystery of language lies not in equations, or even a few punctuation marks contain infinite secrets. This one, for example, should represent silence, but instead invites conversation. Man, they're going with some, uh... <laughs> Trying to get philosophical about um, <laughs> about speech bubbles over here. I can dig it. <laughs> Ooh, view unlocked graffitis. Okay, okay. During the Star Hunt game event, complete the companion mission Punk Lord mentality and story mode to receive graffitis and activate graffiti markers. Select the graffiti markers to perform light cone analysis. Complete the analysis to obtain a light cone. Oh, 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 I see. They're giving us, oh, it seems like it's only limited graffiti. No, <laughs> I was hoping it was gonna be long-term graffiti. That's okay though. I'm okay with getting a light cone out of this. Press to start making graffitis. You can use graffitis to create sprays. Okay. Sure. Collect all graffitis to receive the event light cone. Cool, okay. Sounds good, I have selected it. All right, back and out of this. I was gonna say the light cone seemed pretty good. Wait, oh, there's an arcade challenge. Okay, okay. What's going on with this? During the Star Hunt game event, complete the arcade challenge to receive Always Smiling which is used to exchange for rewards such as superimposition materials in the event shop. I can, I can get behind that. All right. Follow the signs to find the hidden graffitis and interact with them to receive the corresponding rewards. Follow the signs to find the photo subjects and interact with them to receive the corresponding rewards. During the Star Hunt game event, complete sealed sectors at designated difficulties to receive extra rewards. Cool. Okay. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff to do that's... Oh, that's cool! <laughs> oh, that's exciting. I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go here really quick because I think... Hold on. Let me select these really quick because we actually got them. And then there's a bunch of other things too. Okay. That's really nice to know that the light cone is actually good. I don't know. I really like it when that is something given away like... Uh, Actually, good rewards for completing events feels really, really good. Like, it's a really good motivation for actually doing stuff in addition to just, like, having fun with the event. But actually getting a good light cone out of it is good, too. In fact, I actually want to check that out. Examine light cones. Okay, so it's a nihility thing. 
increases the wearer's effect hit rate by 20%. So that's actually a lot. When the wearer attacks, defense reduced enemies regenerates four energy. Oh, that's actually pretty good for Silver Wolf. <laughs> That's actually pretty good for her. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, no, that's actually pretty decent. I wouldn't mind just having that around too, in case I get a character who would benefit from that. That's actually pretty. I like that a lot. Ooh, that's cool. Well, um, I'm actually really relieved that that wasn't too crazy to go through. Um, let me see. Let's let's continue this quest a little bit more. Um, and depending on how far we get, we might just play a lot of this particular event quest. Um, if we end up having any time, we can do some of the museum stuff too. But yeah, let's do it. Let's do more of this quest. Oh, they want us to go to Herta's office. All right. Let's go. Teleport. Wait. Oh, That's you... not gonna happen. Oh, well. Oh, an argument between old friends. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to walk in on you two. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll say it again. I don't care what Runmay said to you, but there's no chance we're shutting down the simulated universe. <gasps> don't shut down the simulated universe. <laughs> That's one of my favorite game modes. I know that Herta's using it to spy on me and gain data, but like, it's very fun. Don't shut it down. Herta, I've made my decision. Screw them. How could you? You're such a dapper fellow. How could you betray us like this? No! No, don't shut down the simulated universe! Question. What have we invested into this project? Hundreds of system hours, the resources of an entire planet, and the most advanced technology in the entire universe. Oh, when you put it like that. <laughs> the resources of an entire planet? I hope that was done, um, largely legally. <laughs> oh no! And what have we gotten in return? Unknowns, confusion, and a series of errors. Um, but, but, but I have a Stellaron in me. Isn't that valuable? I, I, I go run the simulated universe for you. I interact with, um, with the eons. Maybe that's not enough. Maybe he's right. <laughs> but I don't want to give up the simulated universe. In the beginning, we defined the simulated universe as a miniature world that could be used to discover the traces of the eons. But now, it's become something far removed from its original purpose. The simulated universe is bound to make errors. You said that yourself, and that's exactly what we're experiencing. Why is that a problem all of a sudden? I adore the vast amount of knowledge. But I cannot accept that the simulated universe remains simply a pending contract waiting to be attended to. Herta, think about it. How many surprises has this project given you? And how many disappointments has it given you? Okay, maybe that's fair, but, but don't take it away. <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite game modes. The simulated universe never disappointed me. You are what disappoints me. Screw them. Oh, oh no. Oh, uh, infighting between the geniuses is never a great thing. Do you really think of yourself as someone so exceptionally amazing <laughs> right now? You're more like, like, like someone from the nitwit society. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my model freaked out there as I bent down too far. <laughs> Oh, Herta, never change. <laughs> You're the best and the worst. Kudu kudu. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Herta, I don't mean to question you, nor do I want to deny the hard work you've put forth for the simulated universe. <laughs> He took that like a champ. I appreciate him not dunking on her. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you spend so much time with someone. <laughs> I don't know. I almost would have expected him to dunk harder as a result of that. But he's like, all right, I can see. <laughs> I can see the level we're operating at. I just want to give more room for knowledge and inspiration to grow freely. That's enough. Oh. Leave if you don't want to be part of this. 
go tell the other two yourself. Oh, and take your tech with you. I don't need it. Good grief. Well, this all seems to be breaking bad. <laughs> I can go find Adrian Taylor or the red-nosed old man from Epsilon. Or even the Intelligentsia Guild. At least they won't quit halfway. Ugh. <laughs> bad. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just going to melt into the wall. Just pretend like I'm not here. It's true. The trailblazer in the back would be like, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yumi over here is like, oh god, conflict. No. <laughs> Make myself small. <laughs> Screw them. We've known each other for a long time. This is the first time I feel that you're nothing but a piece of ice cold metal. Ooh. Oh no, that's actually um <laughs> coming for his life over here. Oh god. <sighs> Hi, Mr. Screwlum. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to eavesdrop on you. H how's it going? My apologies, madam. It's okay. Um Never expected to see that kind of expression on her face. <laughs> uh, uh, what happened? This all started with me. I was the one that brought up the request to end our academic collaboration. Well, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Herta or the project. The simulated universe is a great experiment, and Herta is a true genius. Oh, that's really nice of him to say. However, we have our differences when it comes down to our long-term vision for the future. These differences will often manifest into bias, and bias will get in the way of the formulation of knowledge. Deep down, I want to continue to believe in Herta. The question is whether one should end a collaboration that no longer holds true to its original intent. From an objective standpoint, I should end it immediately. I'm actually curious now, like, what the full extent of the Simulated Universe project is. Because at least from our perspective, like, Herta has been really happy with the results that she's been getting from us going inside the Simulated Universe. Like, we've actually been drawing the traces of the eons to us. So, like, to some extent it's been successful, but I'm actually curious if that was the original intent or if there was something else that they wanted to accomplish. Yeah, I know, for real, it does sound like he's breaking up with her. <laughs> Good God! Are you worried about her mental state? I guess I'm worried about both of you? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Judging by the result, I have failed to choose the most suitable time to raise this matter. I don't know, man. Maybe you just needed to explain it differently. No, I, I think she still would have been upset. <laughs> I think, unfortunately, no matter when you brought it up, she was always going to be upset. The emotions of organic life are like tides. It is my fault for not noticing the trajectory of the moon. Let Herta be alone for a while, so she can calm her emotions. It'll be beneficial for our negotiations later as well. So I'm not sure if he meant that to be such a burn, but like, <laughs> just the thought of him, like, making calculated decisions of like, well, I should have accounted for the fact that she would have emotions about the matter. I should have paid attention to the moon. The moon surely has an effect on this thing. <laughs> like, oh god. I don't know, man. I don't know how to break it to you, but that's not exactly the case. <laughs> I think she's upset because this is kind of her pet project and you've told her that you don't want to help her with it anymore. As for the simulated universe, if that's the reason you're here, maybe I can help in answering your questions. Oh, <gasps> yes, please. Uh, yes. Hmm. Search. Bonfire in the depths of the woods. A lone stone sword points to the stars. Punk Lord mentality. That is no ordinary curio, my friend. No, no, it's definitely not. Can you tell me about it, though? <laughs> Do you know what it is? That is a love letter a galaxy ranger has written for the universe. Young madam, how much do you know about Punk Lord? Not much. Um, my my chat has been very kind and has told me that it's maybe a planet, but I, I don't really know much about it besides that. 
It is a planet made of data and symbols. The edges of reality and illusion are blurred in Punk Lord, as are its days and nights. Oh. That seems like that would be a difficult place to grow up, if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> um, wow. Silver Wolf came from a planet like that? Yikes. I feel like that would be the same thing as like, um, you poor folks who live really close to the North Pole, um, where like you spend a lot of time with uh, it being completely dark outside. I don't know. I get kind of a similar vibe where it would kind of mess with your head a little bit to be raised there. Uh... <laughs> yes, no, Sky and Deku, you're absolutely correct. He 100% meant it metaphorically. I just kind of liked the idea of him like literally thinking like, hmm, I wonder if I should have waited until the time, until the moon. <laughs> I should have waited until the moon was in a different phase before talking with her. Yes, surely, this is how organic life work. But no, it was definitely metaphorical. <laughs> my apologies. I, I should, I should have made it clear this was my, uh, <laughs> my, my theory to laugh at. But, uh, I, I feel, um... I feel really bad for uh, the folks growing up on Punk Lord. That um seems really wild. An ether cartridge is a chip that Punk Lordian hackers use to edit reality. The ways through which a hacker perceives and modifies the world are recorded on the chip. Man, that's wild. Okay. It's a recording of the hacker's life and proof of their existence. The one on the space station belonged to someone truly legendary. He became a galaxy ranger by accident and spent many long years traveling among the stars. He encountered countless fascinating individuals and saw wonders witnessed by few. Man, that's really cool. So it's essentially just like a log of his life. Dang. Man, I hope I can find some more info in game about this. This planet seems absolutely wild. Many of the records and details recorded therein are beyond the knowledge of even the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild. That is why it became part of the masses of calculation data for the simulated universe. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yes. No need to worry, my friend. The cartridge has never left the space station. I see. Okay. I am curious, though, if Silverwolf was actually looking for it, because it certainly seemed like she was. Maybe she just couldn't get to it? It's as I said, it is a very important reference for the simulated universe. That is why its data has been extracted and added to the calculations of the universe model. Man, I would love it if at some point the train stopped there. <laughs> that would be absolutely fantastic. And here's the thing. My opinion of Silver Wolf is definitely going up as a result of this. She's still complicit. In <laughs> she is unfortunately still complicit in what happened here, which is pretty rough. Um, so I might have to I might have to sit that girl down and talk to her. <laughs> but um, it does seem like uh, she was... Man... That's kind of wild that that's the, the type of planet that she came from. I don't know if it necessarily excuses her behavior, but it helps to understand it a little bit more. Herta was probably impulsive and added the cartridge into the simulation without telling anyone, resulting in the item being listed as lost. <laughs> I do love Herta just like, mm, yes, this would make great material. Let me let me hook it up to my pet project here. <laughs> So it was a false alarm then? I understand your concern. If the individual in question did indeed try to hack into Herta's office, then the simulated universe is undoubtedly her next target. As such, please allow me to offer my limited abilities to assist you with your investigation, madam. Sure, sounds good. You are a relatively trustworthy person, so I would appreciate your assistance. As you already know, the simulated universe will be shut down temporarily. It will remain shut until Herta and I come to a clear conclusion. Alrighty. Can I still run it though? <laughs> Probably not if it's uh, closed down. <laughs> yes, this is the last chance to investigate the cartridge data. By way of apology for shutting down the simulated universe, I will use my abilities in the universe to provide you with what assistance I can. <gasps> Wait. 
Is he going to be a support character? <laughs> Almost certainly not. He'll probably just give us access to abilities or curios. If that's what he's saying, if I'm understanding that correctly. This is my recommendation. Please take your time to consider it. I see. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh? I want to talk to Leonard first. What's up, Leonard? D did you hear that? I was so scared I couldn't utter a single word. The simulated universe? Shut down? That's Madame Herta's biggest project. I can't imagine how mad she'd be if it fell through. Hey, see, Leonard gets it. He understands. Wait, this isn't my fault, is it? If I'd been able to stop the enemy's invasion, would Mr. Scrullum be less pessimistic? Oh, Leonard, it's not your fault. <laughs> oh my god. You're fine. <sighs> Thanks for trying to comfort me. Yeah, man, jeez. Don't take responsibility for all this. Uh, this is terrible. I feel like I'm incapable of doing anything. Still, beating myself up all the time won't help either. We're here for the cartridge. At the very least, we must try and see this thing through. Yep, agreed. Don't don't beat yourself up over it. We got to we got to keep moving forward here. It's all good, Leonard. Having heard what Mr. Scrullum said, you're entering the simulated universe to continue the investigation, aren't you? That's right. <sighs> I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany you. I'll be helping Mr. Scrullum monitor the system's internal data flow from the office. <sighs> I'm so nervous. This is the first time I've been involved in something so big. Anyway, I'll be cheering for you. <laughs> That's so nice of you, Leonard. Thank you. <laughs> yes, please stay on the side. I don't want you getting hurt. Yes, let's go. Well, madam, are you ready? I think so. I've got something to ask you first. Please, ask away. I welcome all forms of curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. Are you really shutting down the simulated universe? I love it a lot and would prefer if you didn't. Yes, there are other concerns besides those I've mentioned. I believe that the miracles inside the simulated universe have the right to grow and develop organically. The will of others shouldn't be imposed upon it, just like in the actual universe. Oh, interesting. So you're upset that Herda's kind of trying to play God in her own simulated universe. Interesting. The more Herta tries, the further she moves away from the universe that she had hoped for. Conclusion. The endless iterations of the simulated universe are wearing down her talents, day by day. Well... I hope to free my dear friend from it. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I appreciate it, Screwlem. I feel like you're just trying to do your best to help her, but I think that she's really dedicated to this project. I don't think she wants to let it go. Nevertheless, I must also clarify that this is my opinion alone. You should form your own judgment on Herta, young madam. So, who are the Galaxy Rangers that you spoke of? They are a group that carries a balance scale with them at all times. They believe all the justice in the universe needs to be achieved through individual deeds. Then what is the love letter for the universe? That was the most suitable way of describing the Galaxy Rangers in my interpretation. They are directed by the path of the hunt and are always accompanied by song and the sound of horns. They pursue justice for the individuals and groups they encounter along the way and shower them with splendid wines and poems. You know, at one point, um, I'm remembering now when I logged in, I had gotten a text message from Jing Yuan, the general um, from the Xianzhou, and he was talking about how when he was younger, he had dreamed about being a galaxy ranger, at least from what I can remember. I'm going to have to go back through that text message. But if that's the case, that's a really adorable idea of him, like, instead of becoming a general, like, going throughout the universe with song and horns and just spreading justice <laughs> just throughout the land. I don't know. I kind of like that idea. I feel like he might have been good at that. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of characters in this game that I just wish that they would join um, the Astral Express. 
<laughs> we could just ride around the universe together. I think that would be fantastic. However, all stories come to an end, just as they disappeared from the spotlight long ago. So, before we hop in, tell me a little bit more about the Punk Lord hackers. There is a group of life forms there that know nothing of fatigue. They are attempting to touch upon the umbilical cord of the truth. They are compiling the languages, thoughts, and even emotions of the entire planet into symbols that even inorganic life forms can understand. You see, in the vast sea of data, life exists only in one form, a line of code. Whether it's a butterfly, a whale, or even you, the length of that line of code dictates the boundaries of what the entity entails. <laughs> Trailblazer so much. So I'm actually a butterfly. So I'm actually a whale. <laughs> I know it's just that I'm data, but I have to, I have to do it. So I'm actually a whale. Please, it's only a metaphor. <laughs> I'm sorry, screw them. I know, but it was just too perfect. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> That's all the questions I have. Thank you for hearing me out, Screwlem. You've been very patient with me. <laughs> Let's get going. Very well. Get going, we shall. <laughs> Why is this guy so cool? I'm still sad that he's trying to shut down the simulated universe. I know why he's trying to do it, but <sighs> listen, maybe I can maybe I can convince him that it's not all a waste, that it's not eating away at Herda's potential and keeping her away from other projects. I will be sending you into the simulated universe using an alternative method. It might feel a little different than usual. Oh, snap. All right. Um, I appreciate the heads up. <laughs> Yumi is a gotcha whale. Exposed. <laughs> oh, God. It's in the past. It's in the past. I was a porpoise, all right? It was a gotcha porpoise in Genshin, but... <laughs> I only do the monthly passes now. Oh, you know, um, I actually did end up, um, I actually reached the full completion of the battle pass in Star Rail. Um, and so I was looking over like some of the rewards for it and like out of nowhere bears, like, you know, it's only like 10 bucks if you want to grab it. And I'm like, are you sure? I, I'm trying to do the whole like free to play thing with Star Rail, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that it was worth like, since I actually reached the end of it, that's kind of how I did things in Genshin too. Like I would wait until I got all the way through the battle pass and then I would spring for it just to make sure that like <laughs> I was actually getting my money's worth. But um, yeah, I don't know. I got a bunch of resources for doing that. So, <sighs> but still I'm holding off. I'm not pulling out the adult card for this game. Um, I might have to pull it out for Blue Archive depending on how my rolls go for the New Year's characters. <laughs> Because <laughs> I, I will be able to guarantee the New Year's characters that I want, but I'm a little more concerned uh, about getting Mika in a couple patches after that. So, <sighs> we'll see. <laughs> I don't like um, spending things on packs, but I, I, I want to take advantage of those hyper limited banners whenever I can. So, oh my word. This will help us quickly locate the cartridge in the vast sea of data. We'll start with this data link. Now, please prepare yourself for a deep dive with your consciousness. All right, I'm ready, Screwlem. Actually, wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm gonna take a drink of water first. <laughs> you know, it's actually a good point. Like a lot of times I completely agree with you all. Um, I am normally quite against battle passes because I feel like they prey on FOMO really bad. Um, they try to take advantage of people's desire to not miss out on things. Um, but I do like the way that this game sets it up. Um, I also really like that you can buy it at any time. So, um, yeah, generally what I do is I wait to actually see that I've completed the whole thing before doing it. Um, but yeah, um, definitely nothing wrong with spending money on games you enjoy. Just, you know, make sure that you can take care of yourselves too. spend responsibly. Make sure that you can put food on the table and all that stuff. A lot of these games tend to like, it's pretty easy to like buy a little bit and then be like, eh, I can buy a little bit more, it's fine. So just just be responsible with your money. They don't want y'all to be struggling with anything. 
Ugh, alrighty, I'm, I'm taking a drink of water, and then we'll we'll jump into this. Ugh, yeah, no, mercifully, I do have enough for um, New Year Fuka, um, which is great. <laughs> Like, I have enough to fully guarantee her, but I don't think I have enough to guarantee a character after that, which is the issue. So, um, we'll see. Hopefully I'll have enough by the time Mika comes around, but we will, we will see. <laughs> Had I not burnt my breakfast, I would have increased my gotcha funds, but instead I gotta go buy groceries. <laughs> you know, that's good. <laughs> Buying groceries is good. Take care of yourself first. <laughs> I'm so sorry you burnt your breakfast. That's so rough. Oh. Also, I see you all dive like a whale. <laughs> the gotcha whales, they're appearing again. All right, it's time. It's time to dive. Ooh, okay. Oh, geez. Okay, so we've got... Let me take a look here. Um... Man, honestly, I think I might bring my Sushong Jing Yuan team. I feel like that will actually be good here. Okay, let's try it. <gasps> Wait, I'm getting her as a trial? Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. This is fine. <laughs> I am okay with this. All right, okay. Ooh, all right, let's do it. Okay, so if I'm getting hers a trial, that sounds good. Wolf time. <laughs> do I really sound like a more upbeat Kafka? <laughs> That's wild. Man, her voice is so good. Oh my God. In like both the Japanese and the English, like the voice actresses they picked for both of them are so good. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, gosh, if I'm bringing her, like, oh gosh, that's a good question. Who should I bring? I, I can't go without my Gepi. Gepi's gotta come. <laughs> He's gotta be as part of the group, All right. He's so big up front. <gasps> Welcome. Yes, Welcome to the Suji Tomo. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you enjoy the fun emotes and, and hanging out with everyone. Um, you can access a bunch of the fun behind the scenes video. I've I've made a couple of uh, member streams that you can check out. So Ooh, that's exciting. I'm so glad that the alert was actually working for that. I was kind of worried that it wasn't actually going to show up, but uh, maybe Stream Alerts has gotten their stuff together. Oh, I don't want him here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Remove. I need you at the end. Let's put you right here. Add. And then... Let's see. God, if Silverwolf is in my party, she's actually going to be able to... Oh, she's actually going to be able to grant weakness, which is great. Mm. <laughs> I found you because of Blue Archive. Stay because funny snack. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Welcome. I'm, it's really fun to see y'all in chat. Like, I know not everyone um, is able to, like, do membership, and please do not feel obligated to do so. I want y'all to feel, like, financially stable if you do want to do that. But, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right. So, for those of you who have done this event, give me a little bit of advice. Should I bring a healer? Um, because if so, what I will probably do is run... Um, our, our great general boy, and then I am going to run Natasha as the last pick. So, I guess I'll set that up for now. Yeah, I guess that's a fair point. The lesser, it, the, the fewer elements we have, the more likely it is that she'll hit it. Okay, sounds good. Let's do it then. Um, so he is just like by far <laughs> the most powerful character I have. So that's pretty much why we're bringing him. So let's go ahead, bring him, and then... <laughs> Here's the thing. I always, um, 
I'm quite confident in my Gepi, but man, I, uh, I get scared sometimes if something happens to Gepi. I get very paranoid. So we'll bring Natasha just to be safe. It'll be a nice comfy team. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's roll in here. Alrighty. We're doing it. Rolling in with our team. You feel a ripple, a great weightlessness that makes you lose control of your limbs. And in a flurry of symbols and code, you wake up with a jolt. Young this... madam, are you all right? Ooh, it's a simulated universe. Let's go. I'm fine. There's sound. <laughs> I can hear you, Screwlum. That's the communication module doing its job. Herta often speaks of it as an expensive and impractical function. She often shuts it off to increase calculating power. <laughs> I love that Herta has the ability to talk to us and she just doesn't. <laughs> However, I maintain that the voice carries greater emotional charge than the written word. You are now inside the data link of the ether cartridge. Look around and tell me what you discover. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I can see Silver Wolf right in front of me. Hacker. Oh. Conclusion. That is a holographic record that the simulated universe has created. In here, regardless of how large or small, all variables are saved, including outsider traces. Wow, so Silver Wolf was actually in the simulated universe. That's a little concerning. <laughs> I'm not sure what she was doing in here, but... You were right. The enemy's invasion has spread to the deepest parts of the simulated universe. They were only a hair away from the ether cartridge's data link. What we are seeing are the projections of what happened in those moments. Dang. Well, she got pretty close. Young madam, please stay still. Allow me to see what I can do with this record. <laughs> it's true. Screw them understanding human emotions more than her time. <laughs> Unfortunately, he did make a bit of a miscalculation with uh, how invested she was in the simulated universe. He was thinking that maybe she'd be more willing to give that up, but... Hey, you. Why are you staring at me? Um... <laughs> Screwlum. Screwlum, she's speaking to me. I initiated the simulation flow. This is just a record of the past. She's not actually talking to you. Who was she talking to then? Please listen and don't interrupt her. We may be able to find out more of what we need to know. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> her to understands, but she just doesn't care enough. <laughs> First off, I'm not obsessed with it. On Punk Lord, the stories of the cartridge are no different from textbooks. I'm not interested in something that everybody already knows about. Oh, is she talking to Kafka? Secondly, it's not some kind of video game cartridge. It's an ether cartridge. It's the second pair of eyes, second brain, and second heart of the hacker. Yeah. True enough. It sounds like you're being a little defensive though, Silver Wolf. <laughs> I don't know if that's the most believable. <laughs> She's calling you out to her banner. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Do you understand what that actually means? With that cartridge, if a guy went to a movie premiere and bought some mixed popcorn, you'd be able to know the flavor of the fourth kernel he picked out of the bucket. It's truly amazing. Yeah, no kidding. Lastly, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not obsessed with it. The reason I'm still rambling about it is to make sure that you know how amazing it really is. Do you get it now, Kafka? I don't believe you, Silver Wolf. I'm sorry. This is the most tsundere ass behavior. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm with Kafka here. I, I, I think you're a little obsessed with it. All right, let's get going. We have to move quickly. This place is different from the rest of the space station. We're on Genius Society turf. Yeah, no, that is true. Um, I am watching a projection of you in the future. It is safe to assume that two people entered the simulated universe, her and her companion. Interesting. Let's see what happened next. You are now taking the point of view of the companion. She will react to your behavior now. 
All right, sounds good. <laughs> it's it's not like I'm obsessed or anything, but babaka. <laughs> yeah, I I believe you. I I definitely believe you, Silver Wolf. Definitely not obsessed. <laughs> Oh, I get to play as her! And she's really cute. Oh, it's so hard. I decided I'm not pulling on her banner because I want to save up for, like, if other characters are released in the future. Like, Shreyi is really cool. I want her. And, like, they've revealed that there's another Landau sibling, and I'm obsessed with the Landaus, so I really want Lynx. I don't know. If they reveal anyone else adorable, I'm almost certainly going to pull on them. But, ah, oh, she's pretty cute. Oh, she's pretty cute. Ah! All right. All right. We're going to have fun playing with her for this event. Whee! All right. Let's do it. Yeah, no, her design is great. <laughs> a foregone conclusion. Uh, the, uh, yeah, no, it is a foregone conclusion. <laughs> We're going to absolutely beat up these things. All right. Here, this thunder. Huh. More enemies. Yeah, I think I'm just going to chunk my way through these guys because I don't want to waste his ult here. Nap time. Hope you're prepared. Oh, I'm prepared. Let's do it, Gepi. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's actually really fun. I'm excited that we're doing simulated universe on stream. That's one of my favorite game modes. It's good. Her sword is really pretty. Ah. <sighs> We're gonna creep up on this guy real quick. Actually, if we can just pop this, hold on. Uh, Gepi, where are you at? I'm with you. Yep, no, you are with us. Very, very true. Let's just go ahead and I commend. Do this real quick. Run up. Bam. Just get the benefits from our technique. <laughs> Follow my charge. Man, maybe it's worth using the ult. Let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> Time. Show no mercy. <laughs> Fork in the road, huh? I got this. Man, I'm over here being like, oh, maybe his ult will help me get through this. And then I just, I obliterated them. They were gone. <laughs> He's too strong. He's too strong. No, it's true. Silver Wolf's battle lines are great. Oh. <sighs> Want to pick one first? Give your beloved instincts a try. I mean, I'm always on combat. I want, <laughs> I want extra things. I didn't get anything from the last two, though. That's something really nice about simulated universe is you can decide whether you want the additional like buffs, like the blessings, or if you want to go through the occurrence stuff. I pretty much always check. I, I pretty much always pick combat. Excuse me. Um. <laughs> I got tongue tied. I almost said chick instead of pick. I always pick combat because um, I really like the blessings. <laughs> uh, he just wiped everyone out. Um, yeah, is this still really a record, Screwlum? Yes, this is a visual record. No doubt about it. All right, I'll trust you. Hmm, wrong choice. The correct answer is the path on the right. No, but I want combat. That's fine. We'll do occurrence. It's all good. All right. All right. I'm following you. <laughs> Yumi always chicks. Cheep, cheep, cheep. <laughs> all right. Event. Let's go. Hmm. Not what we're looking for. It's a bait signal. Ugh, why would Herta put something like this inside the simulated universe? Doesn't she find it annoying when she has to find something herself? <laughs> it's a great question, Silver Wolf. <laughs> Never mind, I miscalculated. Let's try another sector. It's all good, it's all good. Uh, it doesn't seem to be going well for them. <laughs> She's actually on the correct path. She just needs to continue a little further. I trust that she too will realize this soon. Um, you seem to know her really well, or are you just really good at making deductions about her? We've met only once. Oh, <gasps> oh, that's right. There's actually a light cone art of the two of them fighting each other. 
Oh, I'd forgotten about that. They are acquainted. Ooh. Silver Wolf going up against one of the members of the Genius Society? <laughs> oh, I hope that means he becomes a playable character at some point. That would be amazing. Stellaron Hunter, Silver Wolf. We fought against one another before. Herta was there as well. She may have mentioned it to you. <laughs> oh no! I think, I think that Skrulem won. I recall that you won. <laughs> From my point of view, it wasn't a victory. Oh! It was more like a test than a duel. She would attack, and I would defend. Neither of us gave it our all. She wasn't able to break through my defenses, and I wasn't able to stop her from leaving. Well... I never thought our next meeting would take place under these circumstances. I believe the continuation of our last encounter will soon arrive. Dang, that's crazy. Okay, there's some history there, I guess. What the? This was the right way all along. Ugh, Herta's got some psychological tactics going on. <laughs> Seems like we can now continue forward. Sounds good. Let's keep following Silver Wolf and Kafka. Onward! Oh, combat time. Let's go. Oh, back to the space station again. A riddle? Where's the skip button? <laughs> I don't know, I find that particularly funny. Herda does have a lot of riddles that are in here, or like references to important novels or stories or like things that the eons have said. All right, well, we'll make our way around. I think that we're okay, just uh, let's go ahead and hit this. Blech. A foregone conclusion. Foregone conclusion that these guys are going to uh, explode very soon. Conflict is pitiless. Huh. More enemies. Huh. Well, nap time. Huh. All right. Good work. Good work, everyone. Let's keep moving forward. Hold on. I saw this over here. <laughs> I cannot resist. I'm with you. I commend. So I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Hello, everyone who's joining in. We're doing um, the event story quest that involves Silver Wolf right now. It's been pretty fun so far. I've been enjoying it. There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder. You took the bait. Ooh, let's do it. Let's see if I can't give this guy a weakness to thunder. That would be pretty nice. Okay, so let's use her skill. Time for a buzz. <laughs> oh, I gave it a weakness to... I actually can't remember if it was weak to this before. That's fine. I'll do this. <laughs> that works. <laughs> he is so powerful. Battles are chess games. No two are alike. All right. Yeah, I know the sound that the light bridges make when you walk Finally, across them. I'm almost there. <laughs> There's even a miniature Herda over here. <laughs> the commentary is great. No, the sound that the light bridges make is absolutely fantastic. It's quite good. All right, since we've got the option, let's go ahead. I'm with you. Do this. Since I these two do this. Yeah, we don't need the downloader. Eesh. A little narcissistic, isn't she? The whole space station is filled with her face. Portraits, statues, even projections of herself. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong, Silver Wolf. I'm sorry, Herda. It's a little true. I was planning on adding a mustache for her, but the spray didn't work. The entire space station feels like it's made of paper, but her portrait is near indestructible. <laughs> She's talking about that portrait in the elevator room, no? 
Perta commissioned me to design an encryption tool for her. Seems she ended up using it on her portrait. <laughs> Why am I not surprised by this? Uh, well, the Silver Wolf says uh, that she's almost at the destination, huh? That's correct. The ether cartridge data is in the next room. Our pursuit is coming to an end. I have a strange feeling about this. Yes. That incongruous feeling has persisted throughout this long pursuit. She came for the Stellaron, but showed a strong interest in the Curios. And just as we found out about the existence of the Aether Cartridge, she just so happened to show up in the simulated universe. Yeah, it's a little odd. I must admit, this feels less like a chase and more like a chance encounter. I recall a story about Punk Lord. It is said that graffiti is a special kind of symbol there. Hackers see reality as a magnificent game and attempt to finish the stage we know as life. Whether it be for competition or for joy, they leave a trail in the places they visit. One symbol after another link up to become a long, long journey that writes the game of life. Man, that's kind of poetic. I like that. It's a cool idea of just leaving behind traces and stickers as they go through different places. Especially with the way that they're cataloging their lives through these cartridges. Man, I do hope that we can go to Punk Lord or find some more info about it at some point. I'm extremely interested in learning more. And would this ongoing affair not be part of such an endeavor? Perhaps this is all nothing more than a game she's decided to play with us. In which case... Let us accompany her till the end. Yep, sounds good to me. All right, onward to the boss. All right, let's see. What is what is he weak to? Let's bust her out. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. Run, 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 run. Got him. <laughs> A well-matched opponent. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just use his ult. <laughs> I could probably. For the master stroke. <sighs> I probably could have waited until I maybe was able to tag him with Silver Wolf, but we're just gonna roll with this, I think. Show no mercy. Here, this thunder. I think it was probably still right to do that because he can accumulate some more energy off of that. I think that was probably still the right thing to do. Okay, let's tag him. And then let's also activate Gepi. <laughs> in the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. Naughty child. Oh yes, we did actually get thunder weakness. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm actually gonna hit him with um, her ult. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. This combat needs optimizing. Let's do it. Optimize. <laughs> This is double speed. Time for a shot. Wow. That was a lot of break damage. Nap time. <laughs> Look, we found it. The ether cartridge is here, and it's perfectly intact. Oh, God. You absolutely destroyed him. Oh, gosh. <laughs> So I might have leveled up that ability a little bit. And I'm also operating at um, kind of the like peak of uh, this equilibrium level. Like I should I should be moving to the next equilibrium level, but I've been gathering a bunch of resources. So, <laughs> well, just like that, just like that, we got me uh, defeated him. Uh, something is not right. <laughs> You're an unwelcome third party here with us. Yeah, no, honestly, um, I was actually planning on jumping to the next equilibrium level yesterday, but I was a little worried that maybe things would be a little hard <laughs> when I actually stream the game. So my plan is actually to do it after the stream. Um, I'm a very cautious person. <laughs> Perhaps uh, too cautious, I think. <laughs> I'm glad that you all enjoy the hat. It is extremely... Oh, I love how it moves. It's extremely good. <laughs> 
Um, the credits for the artists who made this are in the video description. They are absolutely fantastic. And they put this together within like a couple days of Star Rail being out. And I'm really happy I was able to pick it up. If what we are seeing constitutes past images of Silver Wolf, then for her to have made it this far would have entailed the disappearance of the cartridge. We can only assume that the facts don't align with the theory. I believe that she was indeed able to hack into Herta's office, but she didn't stay there for very long. Yeah. Interesting. After all, even the best hacker wouldn't be able to find a specified target in the vast ocean of the simulated universe's data. Unless... Unless... Unless she had someone to guide her there. Ah! <laughs> I knew it! She was real the whole time! We got played, Screwlum. We got played! <laughs> you want to explain it to her first? I can see the confusion in her eyes. <laughs> oh no! We got played! Well, I see. I see how it I see how it went. Cautious hero cremating the slime has nothing on <laughs> you, me dunking on those dudes. It's true. <laughs> I was a little too prepared. That boss battle uh, was very quick. The final results are on the display table, young madam. Take a closer look if you wish. We have plenty of time left. I will answer any questions that you may have. So, she's actually real, right? You've guessed correctly. The person that stands before you is tonight's starring role. Screwlum. Screwlum, my man, were you screwing us over? What's going on? What's going on here? She left herself a back door in the office, performed a proxy hack the moment you entered the simulated universe, and found a way to continue alongside us. I must say, she really is a masterful actor. Misdirection is always the most effective method. So the graffiti was bait, <laughs> as I suspected. The graffiti is like a two-way data tunnel. You can use it to retrace the trail she leaves behind, and she can monitor your progress by seeing which pieces of graffiti have disappeared. Oh, so she was able to know where we were and what we were doing the whole time. Ah, we got played, Screwlum! We got played. I fear she may well have had the whole thing planned out before hacking the space station. The graffiti and the back door were all in aid of honing in on just the right moment. <sighs> well, I suspected that she might be real. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, no, the height difference is pretty, um, <laughs> it's pretty wild. <laughs> Our trailblazer is very tall. Um, did you know everything from the start, Screwlum? I'm sorry. Herta forbade me from disclosing any information beforehand. She made clear that knowledge would not be paramount to this operation, but rather the lack of it. Oh my god. Was this some 5D chess? <laughs> Wait. Man, now I don't trust anything. I... <laughs> Is he saying that him and Herta staged an argument in order for me to come in here? Oh, okay. Well, well played. Well played. However, the way I see it, the most important elements were dedication and sincerity. The actions of Mr. Leonard drew the target right in. You know, that's a fair point. If we don't know, then we won't tip her off that something is wrong. Ooh, that was pretty clever of them. All right. Yeah, now some 10 D chess over here. Eh? Society of Geniuses. Good work. Good work. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. The stage argument was for Silver Wolf. Well, it also made me want to shrink in a corner. <laughs> I, I felt bad. I, I didn't want the simulated universe to go away. I'm glad. I'm glad that's not happening. Well then, were you satisfied with this simulated universe journey? Oh god, is this even a real Yumi stream? What if it's actually Bear with a Yumi voice changer? Can't trust anything anymore. <laughs> 
You'll never know. You'll never know. You don't you don't know what to trust. Everything might have been a trick from the beginning. <laughs> Miss Silver Wolf. Well, well, well. Well, 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 Miss Sundere. I see. We've caught you. We have caught you in the act of trying to get a hold of this. <laughs> I see. Huh. You knew it all along, didn't you? I knew it would be hard to fool you. All that talk you were spouting along the way was meant for me, wasn't it? Hmm. It is a joy and an honor to have the opportunity to face off against you once again. Herta said that this cartridge would be able to lure in the biggest fishes in the universe. She was right. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> That's great, Sky. Caught you silver-handed, Silver Wolf. <laughs> so, the business about shutting down the universe and the argument with Herta was all just an act? You did all that to lure me in? Hey, it worked. I mean, I believed it. It was pretty convincing. That is up to you to interpret. Herta and I have always been frank with one another. Sharp conversations of that nature happen on a regular basis. It wouldn't be fitting to call it an act. Hmm. <laughs> That's actually fantastic. He's like, we've argued with each other enough. We can pull it off. <laughs> it's so easy to just pull that out of a hat. Miss Silverwolf is truly a talented hacker. Not only did she calculate everything ahead of time, she has numerous variables and aces still to play. News of my sudden visit to the space station was probably the only uncontrollable variable in her plan. And with my arrival came the nightmare of shutting down the simulated universe. That would have ruined her plans and all her preparations. Mm, smart! So that's why she had to take the risk! I see. I understand. You now know everything about this encounter. Oh. Everything? No, no. You're wrong about the most important part. I'm just impressed. I, I, I believed them. That was pretty good. Good on them. No, no. I feel like she's going to pull a trick. <laughs> I feel like this isn't going to end well. No, oh, I'm so glad that you all, it makes me so happy that you all enjoyed the hat and the wubaboos. <laughs> I thought it would be a really fun thing to have for the stream, so that makes me really happy to hear. You think I came here out of desperation, but I've been bursting with excitement this whole time. Do you know how happy I was when you showed up, Screwlum? I don't... Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I believe you, Silverwolf. I feel like you're putting on a facade. I haven't had the thrill of a formidable opponent in such a long time. The Legion is nothing but a bunch of cavemen, and the IPC were a disappointment. Only the Society has the talent to provide me with a fun challenge. Ooh, you know what? That's actually a fair point. She's just really bored all the time. <laughs> if Screwlim actually shows up, it's a pretty decent chance for her to have some fun. Oh. <sighs> She too is a screwlum simp, yes. <laughs> Reality is nothing but a game. But what's the point of a game if it can't make you happy? An invitation letter and a challenge letter were sent to me from two geniuses. How could I not accept them? Would you have turned them down? I mean, I don't, I don't know how confident I am in my ability to outwit these two, <laughs> if I'm being honest, but I don't know. I can swing a bat really hard. You're confident you'll be able to get out of this in one piece. That's right. And I'm bringing this with me. Oh, snap. Well. Well, well, well. How the turntables! The ether cartridge! When did oh, you? a copy. You completed it while we were talking just now. I mean, yeah. That was some pretty good misdirection on her part. <laughs> Why else would I entertain so much small talk? You're not the only one stalling for time. I'm guessing that Herta is hiding in a corner somewhere, trying to pull off a reverse hack from where I hacked in. 
You, on the other hand, are responsible for taking me head on, just as you did last time. And I'm looking forward to it. How do you plan on stopping me this time? Are you going to turn the simulated universe into a black box? Or are you going to work with the IPC and put together a cross-galactic encirclement? Screw them. Will I be able to see your true strength this time? Oh snap, trying to provoke him. That seems dangerous. <laughs> it's true, the trailblazer plays in trash cans. She's not exactly big brain. I agree. <laughs> I completely agree. The long-awaited result will finally be determined. There will only be one victor today. Please, let me have some fun this time, okay? <laughs> oh boy. Well, it's fighting time, Screwlem. My apologies, Miss Silverwolf, but none of what you are hoping for will be happening today. You may leave now. <gasps> no fighting time? Aw, but Screwlem, I wanted to see you in action. Huh? Leave? But why? Aren't you trying to catch me? Don't you want to cuff me and exile me on some distant planet? <laughs> your creativity has proven interesting. However, I have nothing to do with your quarrel with the space station. Ergo, I won't stop you. Well, 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 I see. I'm gonna leave with this cartridge then. That's just a duplicate. Correction, not only is the one in your possession a duplicate, but so is the one here. The real curio was transferred elsewhere at the very beginning. Conclusion, you may share that data freely. Dang, all right. Well, that's nice of them to make a copy for her. <laughs> yeah, when she was talking about Screwlem cuffing her, I did have the thought of like, wait. <laughs> I know that it seems like you're a, a big fan of his, but I, I didn't realize you were that kind of fan. <laughs> I see. I understand now. What if I attack the space station again? I don't know. It seems like you got what you wanted, though, didn't you, Silver Wolf? It would have nothing to do with me. But I must warn you, it is likely that someone would step forward to stop you. Oh yeah, I got a bat. I know how to use it. Then what if I were to destroy the simulated universe right now? Well, that would that would be really mean of you. <laughs> don't do that. Now listen here. I don't want that. Don't do that. I like the simulated universe. I'm sorry, but that simply isn't possible. Ether editing isn't capable of destroying an entire universe. What is the point of this then? You guys went out of your way to put together this trap, but don't plan on doing anything at all? <laughs> Fair point. Um, I don't know, we're giving you a copy. Like, we still have the original, it's fine. That's right. This way, the game that you so carefully orchestrated is now pointless, is it not? There's no point in a game if it's no longer fun. Well, well, well. Beating her at her own game, I see, by making it not fun anymore. <laughs> Silver Wolf, I know what you're after. The IPC's shackles won't be able to hold you, and jail is but another game to you. Herta and I came to an understanding. We will no longer enable you and give you what you need. Wait a second. Why is he talking about her like he's a dad? That was a very dad statement to talk about enabling her. Especially when he was talking about earlier about trying to prevent her from leaving. I feel like maybe it's just a coincidence with how he said that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like there's something going on there. Maybe, maybe it's just a hunch. <laughs> How boring. However, Herta felt that this would be too easy on you and wanted to add something of her own. And that is why, in this very moment, she has reverse hacked you and located all your interastral network accounts. A total of 76 accounts. A very impressive number. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Over 70 alternate accounts. <laughs> How would it be if the IPC were to freeze all of them, including all of your game records? Oh, snap. Now you got her right where you want her. <laughs> he is. He's grounding her. He's, he's threatening to take.
take away her games. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. What? Hey, hold on a minute. <laughs> and she logged out. How hasty of her. <laughs> Games are always fun in the eyes of a child, but to an adult, they are but one among many ways of solving a problem. I don't know, man. I think games are still fun as an adult. That's just me, though. <laughs> this is me, though, screw them. I think games are still very fun. You can use them for problem solving, though, for sure. It's about time we were on our way. That was fantastic. <laughs> I did not expect him to go full dad mode on her. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, we got some more graffiti. The bitmap explosion. If you could not imagine how hackers... If you could not imagine how hackers can create destruction, try to visualize them setting off explosions within cyberspace. The parties involved should be quite fond of this metaphor. Oh, the hacking call card with Silver Wolf. That's adorable. Each intrusion can be a piece de resistance in a hacker's career, and leaving one's image behind is undoubtedly the proudest signature of their own work. And level one. Account created. Game starting. Enjoy your adventure fully. Yes. Where Herda at? Hey, Herda! What was up with that? You tricked me too. <laughs> I thought you and Screwlem were fighting. <laughs> a flawless victory. Hope you got a glimpse of Herda's awesomeness, kiddo. I'm sorry. I know this stream has just been me talking about how tall the trailblazer is. <laughs> but can we talk about how tall she is? That's not fair. I want some of that. I want some of that height. I want to be taller. <laughs> it would make reaching shelves so much easier. Okay, Herda, I'm sorry. I got distracted. Was this all part of your plan? Hmm, naturally. I couldn't care less about what happened with the space station, but I will surely repay the favor tenfold to anyone who dares to taunt me. <laughs> I already notified someone at the IPC to freeze all her accounts. She's probably crying in front of her computer right now. <laughs> oh, that is cold-blooded, Herda. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I feel really bad for Silver Wolf, but also... <laughs> ah, it seems like she had to pay the piper after everything she'd done. I screw them. Thank you, young madam. Your and Mr. Leonard's contributions were a necessity to our victory. Oh, yeah, for sure. I definitely, definitely um, didn't think that you and Herda were fighting. <laughs> ah. Do you have any other questions regarding this incident? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what is Silver Wolf truly after? Her ultimate goal was always the ether cartridge. But she developed an alternative objective in challenging Herta and me in the process. I see. That makes sense. All those complicated puzzles and unnecessary ploys. Nothing more than games, I'll wager. Will the space station be invaded by her again? If you are referring to the back doors Silver Wolf left behind, we have cleared out all of them, except for the one in the office. Don't worry. The space station is not as fragile as you think. Whether it's cosmic warfare or the incident that just took place, they're all within Herta's grand plan. Dang, you all really, uh... I'm impressed! You handled this very well! You grounded Silver Wolf on top of everything else? <laughs> yeah, I want to ask something else on top of that, if you don't mind, Screwlem. Please, ask away. Are... Are you actually going to shut down the simulated universe? Certainly not. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Although Madame Herta and I have our differences in terms of research direction, the simulated universe is our shared pursuit, and nothing will change that. Oh, that makes me so happy. I can't even begin to tell you I was so panicked. On the contrary, 
I plan on staying here for a while to see up close what kind of surprises the new branch of the universe has in store for me. <gasps> Wait, is he just gonna hang out now? <gasps> I'm on board with this. I can come and talk to you. I can learn more, more things. <laughs> you have a wealth of knowledge I want to know. All right. What is the ultimate meaning of the existence of the universe? Tell me, Screwlum. There is no one answer to that question, my friend. It holds a different meaning for everyone. Oh, That's actually a nice, profound way of putting it. To sentimental, organic life forms, it could be the first falling leaf in the change of seasons, or the marks carved onto someone through the passage of time. To the swarm that follows its instincts, it might be the sight of fresh meat in their compound eyes and the restless thirst for sustenance. Excuse me? I you have you've just dropped a little bit of lore that I want to know about the swarm? Um I'd like some more uh, details on that, Screwlum. And for me, perhaps the image of symbols woven together, still able to move the heart. Something great that you call emotions. Oh, I think that's nice. I don't know. I feel like finding meaning in life through finding things that you enjoy doing is very good. Having fun with it is good. Of course, I've also heard that the answer is nothing more than a two-digit number. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Fantastic. <laughs> For those of you who are unaware, that is a reference to The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I feel a little bit old being like, oh, it's a classic. You y'all should have read it. But I don't think that's actually true. <laughs> it's kind of an older book now. Um, there was a movie of it as well. Um, I personally preferred the book quite a bit. They, they delved a lot more into some of the hilarious places that they go to visit, but there's actually been a lot of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy references on the space station, which has been fantastic. <laughs> Here's the thing. The one the one thing that the movie brings is that they actually make a full song for the dolphins leaving the universe and it's fantastic. 10 out of 10. Great adaptation just for that. <laughs> uh well, screw them since I've kind of picked your brain about everything else. What do you plan on having for dinner? A medium rare kettle steak, salt baked kalia lemongrass, Herman compound milk, and a portion of fried rice prepared by a certain young man on the station. Fantastic taste. Oh, screw them. Fantastic taste. You eat that good fried rice. Ooh, gosh, that sounds so good. That's actually making me really hungry. <laughs> some milk, a nice steak, some salt baked lemongrass. Good God, that sounds amazing. Oh, oh. That sounds so good. <laughs> My mouth is watering. <laughs> oh, God. All I need is energy. The form that energy comes in is the same as it is for you. That's true, but you can enjoy the form that that energy takes. <laughs> it seems like you do. <laughs> oh, I want to. A certain young man must be talking about Leonard. Couldn't be this Arlen fellow. <laughs> The collective forgetting about Arlen's existence. Poor dude. <laughs> I would never forsake the delights of the culinary world in the interests of efficiency. Now, it is possible that my joints may need a little lubricant every now and again. <laughs> I actually, oh no, it's probably a little rude for me to ask, but I, I am extremely curious if he's completely robotic. I'm fascinated, but I don't... Mm, I gotta find a way to be tactful about this. Well. <laughs> Y'all are killing me. Wait, Arlen, who? Is that a new leaked character? We'll never know. <laughs> well, young madam, our destination may differ, but there are still <laughs> countless opportunities for our paths to cross. The pursuit of knowledge will always be the best driving force for trailblazing. Ugh, oh, screw them, you were so cool. Oh my god. Oh, please stay. Please stay so I can come and talk to you. <gasps> Hi, Leonard. <laughs> I'm, 
sorry, you've just been waiting here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so, the reason Madame Herta wanted me to continue the investigation was to lure her out of hiding? <laughs> that never crossed my mind! Did she know about the traps the hacker left in the space station from the very beginning? Um, I'm sorry. You were the most fitting bait in hindsight. <laughs> she said I did a good job! <laughs> Don't get too excited. Um, she's uh, not known to remember. Um, I hopefully she'll remember your name after this. Is all I'm saying. Can you believe it? I've just been acknowledged by Madame Herta. This is something I'll remember for the rest of my life. I don't have to worry about being fired anymore. Oh, this poor dude. He's still worried about that. Dude, you're fine. You're like, I don't know, the only person I've talked to who does any IT work on this ship. I think you're fine. <laughs> I think your job is pretty secure. This chapter has come to a conclusion. Come, let us close the final back door. Whoa, okay. No, oh, but I want to hang out more. Screw them, don't go away. Oh gosh, he's really tall. Okay, we actually have to do a height comparison. Oh, wow. Good God, he's really tall. Look at them right next to each other. Okay, actually, sorry. I've been on a trailblazer kick. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta pull her out real quick. Um, let's, let's go ahead. Add real quick, enable team. All right. Pretty tall, pretty tall. Wait, they're like the same height. Her and Dan Hung are the same height. I keep wanting to say Dan Hung, but I, when I was listening to that um, pronunciation video, it was seeming like it's correct to say Dan Hung. So that's what I've been trying to, I've been trying to train myself to say that. <laughs> Look how tall she is. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Ah! All right, let's scan the graffiti. It's been scanned. You watch the image on the wall slowly dissolve and disappear. And that's the end of it. Uh, it's <laughs> gone. It's all gone. They seriously left nothing behind. They went too far this time. Too far. <laughs> Loki, I am just gonna consider Screwlem and Herta to be like <laughs> the begrudging parents of Silverwolf. <laughs> they have officially grounded her. <laughs> I love Kafka over here being like, I don't know what you expected, man. <laughs> All right, all right, stop with the tantrum. You're not a kid anymore. <laughs> I am not throwing a tantrum. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you gonna do now, huh? Hack an IPC branch nearby and get your accounts back? <laughs> That's almost certainly what she's gonna do. Can we also talk about how great this art is? Like, for just a second, like... I don't know. I'm a sucker for like really good art stills like this. It's a huge reason why I'm like massively obsessed with Blue Archive. I just really appreciate when they take the time to do this. They've also got some really clever lighting effects. Like if you look at Silver Wolf, eh, <laughs> I can't speak. If you look at Silver Wolf's face, not, <laughs> not Silver Wolf, Silver Wolf. If you look at her face, um, you can actually see the game console. Like the light is blinking on it. Ugh. That's so good. <sighs> oh, that's actually a fair point. Are they on Punk Lord right now? It does have the very uh, game futuristic aesthetic to it. Oh, now I just want to go there so bad. I hope we can go to Punk Lord at some point. Uh, if it were just one or two accounts, sure. I kind of overdid it this time. I lost basically everything. A branch office probably won't be enough. I'm gonna have to make a trip to Pierpoint. Oh, Pierpoint, you say? What, you're going alone? That's the IPC's headquarters. Oh, jeez. Oh, that seems like a bad idea. 
I don't know. I don't know if you should do that. <laughs> oh, you know, it's true. I have heard so many people suggest Arknights to me. Um, it's one of those things where it's kind of hard to like fit in the time to play a bunch of things, but I feel like Arknights would be really up my alley. When I've tried to play it before, um, Blue Archive has really spoiled me with how adorable and well animated their chibis are. And so whenever I've tried to play Arknights, I'm like, no, my cute chibis, they're not here. <laughs> Where did they go? So, um, yeah, it's kind of a very small aesthetic complaint, but uh, a lot of the other stuff for Arknights is fantastic. I've also heard that it's a game that would make me cry a lot. So I kind of have to be mentally prepared before hopping into that. <laughs> Just me. Why? Do you want to come with? <laughs> that was a nice inflection of her voice there. Do you want to come with? I probably won't be able to. I'm in Elio's next script. Did you forget? Oh, right. That story doesn't sound like it fits me. You guys have fun. I hope you have a good time in Pierpoint as well. Man, I feel like this is not gonna go well for Silver Wolf. <laughs> Don't worry. I've already got an idea. You see that cloud diner just two kilometers from here? A few temps from the building material logistics department just stepped in. I'm gonna go and become their friend. Man, good luck with that Silver Wolf. <laughs> Getting a move on already? I would have thought you'd at least want to spend some time with that cartridge you were obsessing about. <laughs> Beautiful Kafka. <laughs> Calling out her sundariness. Excellent. I told you, I'm not obsessed with it. Besides... Mm, I don't believe you, Silver Wolf. I don't believe you for a second. There's fun to be had along the way. She starts running through the effulgent neon lights just as she had left her home world that night, sprinting towards the stars. Starlight elongates her shadow, illuminating the history of Punk Lord. Those who penned the legends, their vows remembered by the stars. The earliest role-playing gamer said, games are about growth. The calm, tactical strategy gamer said, games are about the victories. The rebellious, collaborative gamer said, games are about encounters. The loving, narrative gamer said, games are about remembrance. And now, the young galactic adventure gamer, she said, A game is a game, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> oh, that was great! <gasps> Silver Wolf showing up on the Astral Express. I think Pom Pom will have a, an aneurysm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pom Pom. I can explain. I can explain why Silver Wolf is there, I promise. Man, I am struggling to say Silver Wolf for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I am struggling here. Oh, it's Leonard! Hey, friend. You're still at the space station, right? <laughs> I, I want to talk to you about something. Why didn't you say this before, Leonard? I, I didn't want to say that with so many people around. <laughs> My boss was there too. It's been a while since that incident, but I'm still very worried about the space station cybersecurity. I want to prepare while I can, and I've got an idea that I want to run past you. Let's talk about the details face to face. I'm outside the office. Please make sure to stop by. All right, sounds good. Ooh, level 99 sticker. Or excuse me. Wow. Level 999. <laughs> Needed an extra nine there. Max level achieved, but the game is not over yet. Continue your adventure and brush aside the overflowing experience points. Eternal Quest. 
The end of a stage signifies the beginning of another. After clearing the beginner game, you can move on to a bigger performance stage. Oh, nice! Let's go! Let's snag this. Sounds good. Quickly do this. And yeah, I think I think my plan is probably that I am not going to pull for Silver Wolf. Um, I'm going to try and, and stack up a lot of pulls <laughs> so that I can make it easier to guarantee any other characters. Because honestly, I, I love Ching Chui and I'm probably just going to run her on my team as my quantum damage dealer. But Silver Wolf is fantastic. I, I have come to like her a lot <laughs> through this event. <sighs> oh, let's go. We got it. Oh, this was great. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, start graffiti. Eh? Switch graffiti combos to spray interesting images. Use undo and erase all to spray with more convenience. When more than eight graffitis are made in the domain, the earliest graffiti will be replaced. Wait. <gasps> Wait, are they actually, are they actually going to let me graffiti things? <laughs> yes. Let's go. All right. It's been graffitied. <laughs> Oh, I'm probably gonna put her on a bunch of let's let's put her on the door. Let's go. On the door. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Put her on the floor. Fantastic. Ten out of ten. <laughs> okay, I should pick something different. I shouldn't just do this one. We'll do explosions next. We'll do this explosion. And we'll do this. What? Just put explosions everywhere. Yes, hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> you all are extremely kind. Thank you. Oh, wow. We've just got a bunch of graffiti everywhere. Perfect. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, my word. Yeah, well, um, since we finished that, we actually do still have a little bit of time left um, before I'm going to watch anime with Bear. So let's hop into this museum event. All right, so we did the Star Hunt game. Oh, store. We got to go check out what we can buy. What can we buy? <gasps> Ooh, lots of things that I like a lot. What is this? Interesting. A punk lord snack. Oh, it's used to level up the light cone. I see. It counts as alternate copies. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's true. I immediately got the graffiti and I just started putting it on everything. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is great. Oh, God. I love it when they do stuff like this. This is fantastic. Okay. I'll go ahead and buy this and I'll come back for other stuff later. Yeah, let's go ahead. Um, I know that we could do the arcade challenge, but I while we still have a little bit of time, let's go to the museum really quick. Let's do it. Navigate. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I want to see the museum. I don't know. It's this was late. it's kind of Where silly, but this was the event I was really, really excited about. <laughs> like I was excited for the graffiti and silver wolf. But um, yeah, I uh, I'm I'm excited for uh this museum event. Oh no, Rice! You had your Discord hacked last night. No! Oh god, that's terrible. Oh, I'm glad you were able to get it back. That's no good though. I'm really sorry to hear that. Dang. Well, I'm glad that you've got it back now. Um, that's a really bad feeling when like you don't have access to stuff. Oh. Dang. I'm glad that you were able to get it back. That's good. It's funny, uh, as a result of like everything with this channel and like making a Discord server and everything, I feel like I've become a lot more reliant on Discord. So the idea of like not having access to it, ooh, ooh, that feels rough. Oh, I'm glad you were able to get it back though. I am having a very good day though. Um, it has been very fun to play this. <laughs> we have been so excited to play this with you all on stream and this has been fantastic. Oh my gosh, also we get to talk to her. Oh, let's go, let's go. Hello. Hey, it's you. I 
didn't expect to see you here in the administrative district. How have you been lately? I I'm doing pretty good. Um, it's it's nice to see you. Also, for those of you who are just joining, welcome, welcome. You're joining right as we're about to go and do the museum event. Great to hear. Since the Stellaron crisis subsided, Fellabog's been feeling a little more cheerful. We're really grateful for your assistance. And yes, things are going well for me, too. Thanks for asking. Oh gosh, she's adorable. <laughs> I know she also has a height complex, so she understands me. You spent so much time in Bellabog on your last visit. You must have passed by here before, right? Oh yeah, all the time. I wanted to go inside. <gasps> are you going to let me go inside? Is that what's happening? This is Bellabog's History and Culture Museum. Built more than 600 years ago. Oh wow, so this is ancient then. Dang, it's very impressive. Last time you visited, it was closed for its 10-year renovation. Now that the Stellaron crisis is over, we've been able to allocate more manpower to the renovation works. The museum should be open to the public again soon. Ooh, can you get me a ticket? I, I want to go in. It's just... Just what? Did you, did you run into trouble? encountered a problem during the renovation process. The Silvermane guards are doing all they can to figure it out. Well, okay. D do you want my help? I... <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't talk about it in the open like this. Hey, why don't I give you a tour of the museum? We can talk inside while I show you around. Yes, 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 yes. Museum tour. Museum. Yeah, you have time, that is. Yes. I have so much time, let's do it. I don't know, museums are fun. <laughs> Some museums can be like, um, I don't know, very samey, like if they have like um, a lot of very similar things inside, but like, I don't know. I always go and read the plaques in museums and I get really excited about like all the info there. I feel like that says a lot about me as a person. <laughs> Great, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Show me the museum. Let's go. Into the museum. Welcome to Bellabog's History and Culture Museum. Oh. As you can see, after nearly a hundred days of renovation, the interior looks brand new. It does. It looks great. However, there's a problem that needs to be resolved before it can open to the public. The museum was established nearly 600 years ago as a memorial to honor Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, and the martyrs who gave their lives in the battle against the invaders from beyond the sky. As time went on, new exhibits were continually added to the memorial until it became the museum we see today. Whoa! So there's a lot of stuff here! Past the reception hall, you'll find the general hall, the museum's largest exhibition room. Oh, there you're a great tour guide. There are all sorts of exhibits on display. Paintings by famous artists, samples of the planet's crust. Visitors can experience the essence of Bellabog's culture in just a few minutes' time. I really hope the museum can open up soon. The children here need a culturally enriching environment, Especially those from the underworld. Yeah, no kidding. But like I mentioned earlier, we're in a bit of a bind. We could really use a helping hand. Yeah, for sure. Happy to help. Here, this is the issue we're trying to deal with. Oh. The exhibit disappeared? <laughs> it was stolen. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's not good. Do, do you want me to help? It was one of the oldest and most precious items in the General Hall collection. The Meteor Fragment. Oh. It is said that 700 years ago, the invaders from beyond the sky descended upon the surface of Urillo 6 with a meteor shower. The Meteor Fragment is solid evidence that those invaders once tainted our land. <clears throat> Sorry, the tour guide in me gets a little carried away. 
I'm not here to give you a history lesson. Still, it's no exaggeration to say that if the meteor fragment isn't recovered, the museum will lose half of its significance. Oh god, that's no good. Um, do you know who the thief is? <laughs> What a question. What a question for her to ask. Do you know who the thief is? It... Why, yes. Yes, I most certainly do. <laughs> no, I don't think she knows who the thief is. Not yet. That's why this case is such a conundrum for the Silvermane guards. Truth be told, the meteor fragment isn't the only item that was stolen. Oh. But we want the museum to open as soon as possible. We can worry about the other missing items later. Yikes. Uh, any leads? Of course. I wouldn't ask you to start a whole investigation from scratch. The guard station in the underworld reported that some suspicious characters have been meeting at a hideout in the Great Mine late at night. Well. Since the Silvermane guards are still getting situated in the underworld and we don't have any direct evidence, we haven't been able to apprehend any suspects. But if you were to go there yourself and ask around, I think we could gather a lot of useful intel. Sure. Sounds good. I'm happy to help. So, would you like to help solve this case? Yeah, let's do it. Crime busting, but not really. <laughs> we're just we're just asking around. Excellent. Just as I expected. Short, sweet, and decisive. To the underworld it is then. I don't know. I'm hoping there's some sort of reasonable reasonable explanation. And like even if people did steal stuff, I'm sure that we can figure out something. Something to do. Conditions here are so She's coming with us. rudimentary. I wonder how long those people have been living here. Oh, a while, man. It's really not good. Like, we, we probably need to make sure people have, like, vitamin D supplements and, like, a bunch of other things. They've just been underground for a really long time. Back to the investigation. We contacted an agent from Wildfire. Apparently she has some first-hand intel. I think her name was... Sweda? Yes, that's right. Let's go pay your visit. All right, sounds good. Oh, why hello? That was quick. Uh, what? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's you. Oh, I thought I'd been discovered. Let's try not to make a commotion. You never know who's listening. That bad, huh? How many exhibit thieves are there? A lot. I don't know if you're aware, miss, but any intel that makes money spreads like wildfire in the underworld. Gosh, that's so sad. Like, it's like the whole deal of, like, people who are, like, in a bad economic situation, like, feeling desperate and trying to make ends meet. Ugh, Bellabog has a lot of work to do to make it so that everyone can live comfortably again. Travel between the overworld and the underworld has been open for some time. Not everyone down here can take advantage of that opportunity. The majority of underworlders have to stay here to feed their families. Oh, that's sad. From what I hear, smuggling museum artifacts is a lucrative enterprise. If I wasn't working for Wildfire, I'd be tempted to get in on the cash myself. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, do you know who might be behind the museum thefts? Not for certain, but I've heard some rumors that might be of interest to you. I'm all ears. Firstly, the group in question has a very public presence. They post recruitment notices all over the street. If you can find a notice, you might be able to glean some clues from it. Oh, all right. They're just kind of out in the open, huh? Secondly, they're rash and careless in their work. They've been seen carrying large crates of illicit goods around the mines and selling them out in the open, without even trying to hide anything from the miners. Thirdly, I heard there are children in the mines that might be involved. I haven't had the chance to look into it, but keep an eye out. Oh god, I hope those kids aren't working in the mines. <laughs> oh no! Hmm. I see. Thanks for the intel. I'm sure it'll help us crack the case. Yeah, no, for sure. That was actually really helpful. Thank you. Well, I'm going to head for the settlement and see if I can get more intel from the locals. Sounds good. You do stand out a little bit, though. I guess we kind of both do. Not much to do there, I guess. In the meantime, do you think you could head out and look for more clues? We can compare notes when you're done. I'm counting on you. All right, sounds good. Works for me. 
<laughs> miners working as miners. So oh, good. <laughs> hey kids, how's it going? My daddy made a lot of money this month. Oh, I see. Was he selling museum treasures? He bought me lots of new clothes. Things you can't even find in the underworld. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> They're just trying to feed and clothe their families, but we we do need the historical artifacts back too. Uh, I feel like Bellabog should institute like universal basic income or something. <laughs> just something to make sure that everyone is actually being cared for. Like there's clearly a gigantic economic disparity between the underground and the the upper ground. Uh. <laughs> My daddy bought me a super rare present. He got me a model tram. Bet you haven't seen one of those before. That costs way much more than boring clothes. Sounds like their parents bought them expensive gifts recently. God, I love her voice. <laughs> I feel like I only get to hear it in battle. It's so nice to hear it again. If people in the underworld want to get rich, what options do they have? This is noteworthy. Yep, agreed. All right, onward. You know, her voice is fantastic. Oh, I want that. Don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> huh. Oh, here's a poster. You discover a suspicious poster. Perhaps it has something to do with the museum theft case. Recruiting temporary porters, mechanics, and security. Flexible hours. Excellent pay. If interested, please get in touch. The content after please get in touch has been crudely scribbled over. There's more here than meets the eye. They could have simply ripped the poster down. Why spare the effort? Maybe the organization behind this wanted people to know of their existence without giving too much information to Wildfire or the guards. Let's keep looking. <laughs> Wait, is that something that I can actually do? Can I can I graffiti the poster? Do I do I graffiti things just by opening up the camera menu? Is that how I do that? Let's try it. Oh, oh, there we go. Graffiti. <laughs> I can! I can do it! Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Okay. Oh, let's do... Let's do this one. Beautiful. Excellent. Fantastic. <laughs> This is dangerous. I feel like I'm going to graffiti so many things. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> All right, let's keep on moving. <laughs> this is too much fun. Oh, hi. Hi, robots. How's it going? Beep, beep. What are these two doing sneaking around? Beep, beep. Alert, alert. Nosy person spotted. Nosy person spotted. <laughs> beep. Beep. Protect the goods. Protect the goods. Well. Oh, that's right. I'm still running with this team. <laughs> oh, the question mark. The call sign of the Suchinoko bandit. <laughs> All right, let's do it. No interest in conflict. I don't believe you. Cause look at this. What? I'm on guard. You are on guard. That's <laughs> this is accurate. Um, gosh, I guess we'll do this. This ends here. What? Let's use her ult. Take this, shape of Taisha. <laughs> so much energy. That's supposed to be a phoenix. <laughs> huh. 
And welcome back! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> oh, excuse me, I forgot how to breathe. story in your own way. Excuse me, give me a second. As I was thanking you, I uh, <laughs> accidentally inhaled spit. It was the wrong windpipe. Um, we'll go ahead over here. Hold on. I'm going to really quickly swap back to my other team. <sighs> Empty. These crates were probably used to store stolen items. Someone left robots to guard them. Looks like I'm too late. Let's look elsewhere. All right. The three rumors Sweta talked about all check out. Time to meet back up with Pela. <laughs> it's true, Sushang is firing angry pro <laughs> She is ang she's firing angry Pororos. That's fantastic. I don't know, she absolutely cracks me up. I've seen um like some videos comparing her to her other forms in other Honkai games where like she'll like drop a meteor on people and in this game she drops a derpy chicken. Life I don't know. Is as I, I I do love the derpy chicken though, like a lot. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Where are we going here? All right, let's teleport. All right, let's see. Oh, hello. Oh, good, you're back. Did you find any critical intel? Yeah, all three of the rumors that Sweta mentioned are true. I see. Looks like someone is getting the miners involved in the stealing after all. I'm not gonna lie, every time that I see Sweta's name, I want to pronounce it the, the German way. It's Feta. It's killing me a little bit. <laughs> I made some progress too. The miners here said they've noticed some people acting strange recently. A few vagrants who almost never leave the Great Mine have suddenly started making trips to Boulder Town. Oh, suspicious. I see. I asked the Silvermane Guard Station there to go investigate some places of interest. I hope they find something. Hey, we've got some news. Ooh, okay. What did we get? Madam Yumi and Miss Pela, we found the lost meteor fragment. R really? W where is it? For real? <laughs> this seems too easy. Waiting for a response. It's in a room in the Goethe Grand Hotel. It looks like some forgetful thief left their most important loot here. We've got the area under control. Now we're waiting for you two to come and check the stolen artifact. We'll come immediately. Don't make a big fuss and don't alert the other guests. Got it, Miss Pela. What a stroke of luck. I didn't expect to get a break in the investigation so quickly. Yeah, no kidding. Come on, let's go to the Goethe Grand Hotel. I hope this isn't some sort of cover-up operation. Onward! To the Grand Hotel we go. Oh, looking at the time, a give me a second. A few games of chess will while away the time. <laughs> oh, his voice is great. I'm going to take a drink of water real quick. Alrighty. Into the hotel we go! Ooh. This must be the box. Let's open it. Let's see. The color, the texture. Yep. This is the stolen meteor fragment, all right. Fantastic! Ooh! It. Couldn't be a fake, could it? I've done a lot of research into artifact authentication techniques. You can trust my judgment. Alrighty. I understand why you're suspicious, though. This whole investigation was a little too easy. In any case, now that we have the meteor fragment, the museum can now open to the public. That's good news. As for tracking down the thief, I'm afraid it'll be a long-term project. When the time comes, 
We may need your assistance again. Oh, you can count on me. I'll help you. Might um, pass along a couple policy ideas too, if you don't mind, but you know, just whatever you're comfortable passing along. Let's go. We need to take this item back to the museum where it belongs. Sounds good. To the museum away. Ah, I've enjoyed A this few event. games of chess will while away the time. Welcome to the Bellabog History and Culture Museum. Miss Pela has notified me that you can enter free of charge. Would you like to enter the museum? Yes, please take me in. All right, please follow me. How pretty this is! Oh, this is a nice museum. I like this. Got some vending machines over here. I love the green that they've got for everything. Oh, this looks so good. All right. Oh! Man, I can spend way too much time here looking over all the exhibits. <laughs> all right, let's return the meteor now fragment. The General Hall can return to its former glory. Thanks for your help. Absolutely, it was my pleasure. The meteor fragment, it's so majestic. Is it worth a lot? And the value of items housed here can't be measured in money alone. But this little piece of stone could fetch a mountain of cash. Yeah, no kidding. The General Hall is ready to open to the public again. Woo, let's go! Oh, by the way, the museum's previous manager resigned recently to pursue his dream of becoming a writer. So, if you're interested, do you think you'd like to take up the post part-time? <gasps> okay, sure! I don't know what that entails. I feel like it's going to be a lot of work, but I'll do it. Yeah, no, I agree. The quality of these events has been fantastic. I really do hope they keep up the quality in the future. I promise you it won't be a boring job. All right, how's the compensation? I gotta know. Museum manager, voted among the top three most highly desired careers after graduation in a Bellabog Academy poll. Needless to say, we offer a competitive package. All right. You, you've caught my interest. I'd like some details, maybe some info on um, what benefits you give, time off, that sort of thing. The fact you're asking means you've got your heart set on it already, right? <laughs> Great. Oh my gosh, that was a really cute laugh. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's go pay a visit to the museum lobby secretary, Eris. She's a talented worker and can tell you everything there is to know about museum matters. All right. Sounds good. I am probably signing up for too much work, but let's do it. Hello, Eris. Give me, give me work. Allow me to introduce you two. This is Eris, our secretary. And this is the savior of Bellabog from the Express. I'm sure you've heard her name many times already. Oh, yes. I've heard so much about you. It's so nice to finally have the pleasure of meeting you. Oh, wow. Um, it's very complimentary. <laughs> oh, gosh, no. I'm not going to hit on her. <laughs> She's supposed to be my coworker. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if she doesn't swing that way, maybe you could get away with it, but I'm, I'm not testing it. <laughs> Just come right out and be like, oh, you're very pretty. No, no. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> In addition to her secretarial duties, Eris is also a student at the Bellabog College of Art. She's very knowledgeable about the museum's exhibits and their history. Eris, starting today, she is going to be our museum manager. Please keep her updated on matters relating to the opening and operation of the exhibits. Yeah, see, here's the thing. I, 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 you, I have to get to know her a little bit better. <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> I do want to have the trailblazer just hitting on her immediately. <laughs> oh, God. My pleasure.
pleasure, Miss Pela. Leave it to me. I'll keep our manager up to speed on every detail. I don't know, the trailblazer is enough of a gremlin that maybe it would work. <laughs> She's just very blunt and to the point. <laughs> Hey, Bear, I think your wife has a thing for secretaries. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know, that's kind of the funny thing about being bi, is uh, whenever Bear and I watch anime together, we can both have debates about who best girl is. <laughs> Pretty defensively. I often have to explain the appeal of uh, certain dudes in anime. He's just like, I don't get it. Why... <laughs> Why does everyone say this character is attractive? And I'm like, listen, listen, listen. Let me break it down. Let me break it down. It's the eyes. <laughs> it's all about the eyes. The eyes are very good. And also, also they, they have a nice looking back. But listen. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Getting back to the point. I got very sidetracked there. <laughs> Get bare in a blouse and pencil skirt. Glasses just. <laughs> Anyway, anyway. <laughs> yes, no, I, you, you all understand. Backs are fantastic. <laughs> Backs are very good. Backs on anybody are fantastic. Very, very good. I like a lot. <laughs> no, no, HR, I promise. I didn't actually hit on her. <laughs> this is slander, please. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my face hurts from laughing. <laughs> That's always a good sign. Would you like to begin with the museum's workflows? Sure, that sounds good. <laughs> sounds good. That's the spirit. Let's get started then. I'm sorry, Eris. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make things awkward. Oh, <gasps> ready to flex your managing expertise? Wait, what is this? What do I get to do? To revitalize the museum to its former prestige and glory, we must keep obtaining Revita score from operations. Okay. Press here to enter gameplay management. Okay. The museum's revitalization stage and obtained Revita score shown here. Management benefits are influenced by three parameters. The higher the museum is ranked, the more benefits it will bring in. Oh, fun. Okay. Management sim time. Let's go. To manage the museum, assist assistance must be appointed. Okay, let's do it. You can trust Pela with managing the general hall. Oh, that's great. Let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. Save. Start managing. Oh, the reviews. The reviews are coming in. Oh. I already feel a sense of pride. I haven't really done much. <laughs> Enter the next business day? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm apparently leaving the Astral Express. <laughs> In a bit of a lurch here as I'm uh, doing some museum management time. Exhibition area was leveled up. Oh, there's, there's a bunch of stuff going on here. This is great. Increase the level of exhibition area will improve benefits from operating the museum, but will also set the objectives higher. Okay. Make sure you have those quarterly reports on her desk by tomorrow. I will, I'll make sure to do it. I'll make sure to do it. <laughs> Select exhibition area to upgrade. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. Upgrade that. Oh, I only have a score of C. I gotta get that higher. Hmm. Hmm, I see. Yes, I want to appoint more assistants. Let me do so. Let's do it. Staff recruitment. Ah, <gasps> Eris. Okay, sounds good. Join. Yes, hire this assistant. 
All right, she has been hired. Excellent. Back. Um, confirm. Meh. I feel like I did that wrong. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay, confirm. <laughs> I had to actually click on her. That was my bad. <laughs> Yumi versus Bear Anime Girls tearless stream win. <laughs> I should I should find some way to do that. That would be hilarious. <laughs> it works out pretty nicely. A lot of our best girls overlap, but there is some some debate that ends up happening. <laughs> Gosh, that's funny to think of. <laughs> I don't know, low key. Um, one of one of my guilty pleasures is watching really trashy harem anime with Bear, and then we have like <laughs> we get really into trying to decide who's the best girl. <laughs> have a couple of drinks, have some popcorn, have some chips, <laughs> watch really bad harem anime together. <laughs> Oh god. It's fun. <laughs> yep, no, we've we've watched high school DXD. Um <laughs> we've watched a lot of really trashy harm shows. <laughs> oh man. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, start management. Let's do it. Oh wait, what's the ledger of curiosities? What is this? Ooh. Ooh, ooh! I'll claim that. <sighs> oh, Hoyoverse. Hoyoverse, Hoyoverse. <laughs> why? Why do you only give me five stellar jade? Why? Why is this one of your rewards? I... Come now, surely you remember that it, it, it is 160 that you need to get a pole. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> anyway, let's see. Alrighty. I'll, I'll claim that five stellar jade. <laughs> Decide head wife from a spread of five then. <laughs> I'll have to think of a way to do that. <laughs> oh man. Alright, let's do it. Start that management. Beautiful. <laughs> that's the thing it is it is free gems i just i just wish it was more than five five is a very small proportion of 160. oh man they're really over here having me uh just run a business i see cool all right <laughs> i'll keep leveling it up sure Man, they're really like, all right, we, we gotta, we gotta really, really, uh, get you invested in this. And here's the thing, I'm, I'm very invested. <laughs> all right. Yes. No, this is, this is true. I can do this. Okay, let's go appoint our last assistants here. <laughs> Minimum wage is five stellar jade an hour. God. Ah, oh, in this economy, that's no good. That's no good. Oh my gosh, who are the options? Serval's fanatic fan? <laughs> or Amo? Oh, jeez. Do I, do I hire a fanatic fan? What if she's like a stalker? I don't want to hire a stalker. I don't want to hire a stalker that'll harass Serval. Maybe, maybe she's just like, I don't know. Maybe she's like, Serval is my Oshi. I could kind of get behind that. Uh, all right, let's do it. I'll, I'll take a chance. I'll take a chance. I'm going to try not to be judgmental. If she's just, if she's just really into her music, that's, that's fine. <laughs> they put Yumi in the game. Touche. <laughs> It was excellent. <laughs> Calling me out for 
being mildly obsessed with cerebral. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> We have recruited. We have done good. Let's <laughs> let's add her. Confirm. No, a servo would definitely not work in the museum. I just, you know. <laughs> what if she comes to visit? I don't want her to be uncomfortable. Alright, start management. Let's do it. Oh, we're doing so well with our museum exhibit. It's great. <laughs> It's true, one of the best things about Gepi is his sister. And apparently, apparently, according to what they were saying in their Landau backstory, they have a younger sister named Lynx. I want to see her. I want to know her. I feel like she'd be really cool. She's apparently like a field researcher. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just dragging you through this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many things! Extra operational objectives can bring bountiful rewards. Okay. Upgrade general hall exterior to level 5. Okay. And I could get Julian. Oh! That would actually be really cute! Yeah, I... That's what I've been trying to figure out, because I think Serval's band for sure has Pela, and I think at one point it did have Gepi, but then Gepi is like doing the big army thing now <laughs> which is unfortunate um but yeah no i oh, i want i want a landau team i want to have them all together <laughs> and before lynx is taller than Gepi. oh god yeah i know this game is just dancing with the whole um <laughs> child labor thing a little bit i see i see how it is oh Let's do it. Do one more day. <laughs> I know it's so nice. Julian isn't stealing anymore. He's helping others. <sighs> That's beautiful. That's so good. Excellent. Man, we're doing really well over here. Oh, I'm looking at the time. <laughs> It's actually fast approaching um, anime time, so I might have to. Might have to dip out of this for now. Oh, that was really fun. I got, I got, I, I might spend too much time doing that. Oh, it's good. Thank you all for coming and hanging out. This was so much fun. I'm so glad that we got to go through these events. Um, I'm actually so pleased that we were able to do both the Silver Wolf event as well as going through the museum. Like, ugh, I was worried I wouldn't have time to do that. So this has worked out perfectly. Um, yeah, definitely look forward to um, a video, maybe two. We're going to see how it works out. Um, there will be at least one video next week uh, for the 5K celebration. I might, I might have put a lot of time and effort into this and it is getting a lot longer than I expected it to get. And I am worried I might have to split it into two videos. So, um, yeah, look forward to that when that comes out. Uh, it's been like my entire week, like every single evening, I've been doing nothing but working on that <laughs> as it is quickly spun out of my control. It is way bigger than I expected. I think I, I should have anticipated it, but yeah, as it gets a little bit closer, I'll reveal exactly the nature of what it is that I'm working on. Um, I think that it will be good. I think you all will enjoy it. I just, man, I kind of bit off a lot more than I expected with it, but um, yeah, <laughs> it will be finished soon. <laughs> Maybe two videos. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. Um, but yeah, I hope that you all are doing well. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. This was so much fun to hang out with y'all. Oh, it was good. Um, ooh, any trailers for summer games that I'm pumped about? I actually, so it's not a trailer, but it's a game that Bear and I picked up this last week um, that I'm going to try and play on stream. It's called Cassette Beasts, and it's like... Better, smarter Pokemon is the best way I can explain it. It is mad fun. 
and I'm obsessed with the characters and the music and I'm going to find a way to play it on stream. Um, this month is pretty packed full of Blue Archive stuff, but I'm hoping next month I can fit that in, so. <laughs> Two videos of four hours each, never heard of it. Here's the thing, mercifully, it's not, it's not that long. <laughs> but it is a little long. I'm thinking, I don't know, we'll see. I, I honestly don't know how long this is going to be. I'm really hoping that I can keep it, um closest to two hours and if that's not the case <laughs> i might have to split it up so we'll see oh it's a lot it's a lot i made some decisions about some content that i've been meaning to make <laughs> for a while it is blue archive related um so yeah <laughs> it should be good it should be good i think it will be a good set of videos i just need to finish it so <laughs> That's very sweet of you all. I'm glad that you're looking forward to it. I think it will be good, honestly. Um, I'm actually really happy with how it's turned out. I just am genuinely shocked at how long it's been getting. And then the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I should have known that it would get this long. Like, it's me. Like, of course it was gonna be super long. <laughs> I should have known! Oh... <sighs> Yeah, I know. I've been doing a bunch of the shorter videos lately. Um, it's just given me a chance to work on this one in the background. Um, so <laughs> definitely look forward to it. And then afterwards, um, it's all aboard the lore archive train. Um, I've got a pretty good timeline for getting that finished. Um, and it will be Millennium and Decagrammaton is going to be the next lore archive video. So yeah i'm excited it's gonna be good i think that's gonna tie together really nicely so um and my plan is i think the timeline that i've got set up is i should have that done before volume f drops and then we'll have a couple of marathon streams of like live reactions to volume f and then i will take my time actually making a lore archive of that because wow oh boy volume f is gonna be it's gonna be a thing. <laughs> I know, I'm pretty excited. I'm so excited to finally talk like really in depth. Like Decagrammaton has come up uh, in passing in some of the lore archive videos. So I'm excited to really dive into the Decagrammaton because it ties very, very nicely with the rest of the Millennium plot. So yeah, definitely look forward to that. Um, that one just timing wise, because I'm finishing up this 5K video, and we only just got the last bit of the Millennium chapter. Um, that I'm definitely not going to have that lore archive done by the end of the month, but it will be done next month. So look forward to that. I'm very, very excited for when I can share that with you all. So yeah, anyway, um, so the plan for next week is I'll have finally the 5k celebration videos released on the channel. The You'll be able to see what it is that I've been working on for a while. <laughs> ever since I hit 5k and um then I think we've got if my memory is correct uh next week is the start of the blue archive Christmas event so we'll have Christmas in June Ooh, I'm excited <laughs> uh, it's gonna be great I don't know I've I've got the big Christmas spirit with that so I'm pretty excited <laughs> Ooh, maybe I should do something fun with my overlay for that let me think about it. I might, I might do something fun just to make it Christmassy. <laughs> Christmas in June. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, um, I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Um, good luck with uh, heading into like the summer here. Um, I know some of you all are still finishing up uh, classes if you're at school. And for those of you who are working, I hope that everything goes well. And yeah. You all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Oh, you know, that's true. In Brazil and in a lot of the Southern Hemisphere, it is winter. That's a fair point. I think that's the case for Australia too, right? Hey, that actually works out perfectly. Winter in the Southern Hemisphere, let's go. That's fantastic. <laughs> That'll work out perfectly. Oh, you all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. I will see you all soon. Bye.